The start date is 60131.3. The USS Achilles has made rapid and remarkable efforts to effect repairs upon their damaged ship and render aid to their allied Klingon ship, the Maymok. In the deep intergalactic expanse beyond the galactic plane of the Milky Way galaxy, the pair of ships are part of a paltry handful that have ventured beyond the galactic barrier from the Alpha and Beta quadrants. Despite such progress, a question of leadership has been raised, and the warriors Subgitta battle among themselves for supremacy. The hope of seeing Hume star, home stars within the decade are still slim, and to worsen it, worsen it all, the Achilles has just lost sensor contact with the Maymark. And we will start on the bridge of this intrepid vessel. For the record, this is a three-threat Achilles. game. Not an intrepid. Sorry, GM. Nah, Thrall's character die. <laughs> I actually just as found out reading the GM guy that you can get up to a four-threat game. I mean, theoretically, I suppose. I mean, you can get every threat game you want. All right, sixteen threat. 16th threat game, let's go. 16th threat per player. Yes. You're just you're just actively being in a, you start the episode being assimilated. Yeah. I mean that would have been one way to do uh midnight. <laughs> um so Captain Pend and Lieutenant Junior Gay Morkop uh, enter into the bridge uh, shortly after the revelations of the last episode. Because you can't beam over. Because it's still ship. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, still armored and armed and ready to go. Uh, Pen, you, you haven't been informed yet what's been happening, why you haven't beamed over yet. You just eventually go up to the bridge wondering what's going on. I, I will call down to Pen. I will have done that. Okay, so that, that will... Yeah. So he's in the he's in the turbo lift by, by the time we call him back. Yeah. But it would have just been Captain Pen to the bridge, nothing else yet. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> then you're Get on off. the bridge. I'm fucking oh. somewhere. <laughs> uh, Commander, what's this about? I was about to head over to the Maymark. We've lost contact with the Maymark. They appear to have dropped out of warp. I'm getting strong suggestions not to stop moving, Captain. Oh. <sighs> And we have no sensor contact with the Maymok either. Our sensors are still heavily damaged. GM, does Morcap have any insight into the Rasa type cloak? Uh, he would have been briefed on it, yeah. En enough to where I could give Thrallic an advantage that Thrallic doesn't already have if I spilled the beans? Or does Thrallic already know everything I know? Um, yeah, I think we already know about the, the Rasa type cloak. Yeah, well, I, you know, I don't know if you, Morkop knows it exists, or Morkop knows enough about it to get to help here. Morkop can give me a reason plus security difficulty of three to see if he if he knows of I mean, because of his special access, uh, if he knows uh, of a particular weak point that may make it easier to find the Maymok if it is cloaked. Well, actually, there's one thing that's immediately obvious if you think about it, why the Maymok may be hard to sense at once it goes outside of, like, close range. Yeah, I, that's why, I, when you when you said we couldn't censor it, my first thought was they cloaked. Um, a focus in Starship Tactical Systems? Yep. And uh, because Morcop has that thing where being introduced gets him a determination, um, I'll go ahead and spend one on Warrior of Subgutta, Officer of Starfleet. Yep. 
I'm still wearing my armor. Oh yeah, we already paid for hey. that. Hey, it's a new, it's a new episode. You'd have to pay for it again. Oh, nice. You're wearing narrative armor, aka plot armor. <laughs> oh, but there's um, three momentum. Two momentum. Oh, because, right, two momentum because you uh, split determination. Yep. Uh, yeah, actually, there's one thing I can tell you straight out of the gate. They Once they go beyond close range, uh, th it becomes difficult to, to detect them anyway because of the armor, because of the uh, passive uh, r Rasa type uh, armor plating, which mm -hmm. baffles sensors. <laughs> so even if they don't cloak, they can be hard to sense if they get far away enough. Do I know enough to get any advantage in looking for them? Uh, you've created the advantage that you've made it easier to find, you, to, that they could attempt again to this the, to see it, because they now there's now a piece of the puzzle that they didn't have before. All right, then yeah, Morkov will tell Thralik they need to look for this variance uh, if they want to detect the baffling. At Ven, look for it. In the strictest of confidence, that's like state secrets right there, or house secrets. Uh, inside science, difficulty one for Ven. Uh, plus two okay. because damaged. Huh? No, inside, inside. He's, he's oh. recalling something. Ah, ah, very good. Um... Do I have I mean, any focus damage? So. Rude. Um, <laughs> sensor operations, astrophysics. Anything astrophysics, else? yeah. Astrophysics. I think that would apply here. Okay, uh, I'll take a momentum. Sorry, what difficulty was that? One. So, two momentum. Yeah, sorry, I was typing in Twitch chat. How dare. Yes, how dare I look between two screens to do two different things. I know. Sinister. Mm -hmm. I love when anything happens in this game, it's just immediately followed by furious typing! Yes. How you know shit's real. Second. cars are just a lot more clicky on an Achilles, what can I say? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've not upgraded past mechanical cars. Yeah, on purpose. <laughs> they're, uh, they're holographic. Mechanical L cars displays. Yeah, we added in the sound afterwards. Yeah, they're kind of retro. Sir, we're uh, uh, we've warped we've warped uh too far out of sensor range. Unless they cloaked, we'd have to uh, we'd have to go back to bring them back within sensor range. Hmm. Commander, and they're just like notion for it to come close. Oh, do I have you don't believe we should go back for them, correct? <laughs> That's your discretion, Captain. All I can say is I feel it's imperative that we keep moving away from where we were. Generally, I would agree, but we should at least go back and see. If we, if it's too late, then it's too late. But we have to at least walk. Yes, sir. Believe me, I would not be making this suggestion if I weren't serious. A good portion of 
my hoplites are still over there. Understood. Um, I want you to prepare the Achilles just in case we do get into an engagement. But I'll be giving the order for us to come about. Yes, sir. I'll have contingencies in order. Thank you. Uh, Lieutenant Shishra, turn us around to the last known location of the main mark. Aye, sir. Coming about. Bridge to Lieutenant Arlen. Arlen here. I'm going to need a some work done on the sensors immediately. Something's gone wrong and we need to see what's out there. Aye, right, sir. Working on the uh, sensors double time. Then, when we get into the area, I want to do a full sweep. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what's wrong with the Maymark and hope that they're still there. The problem is never to see Klingons, it's when you can no longer see Klingons. Lieutenant Arlen, you are looking at a roll of... How bad are you? Oh, you fixed the structure thing, so you don't have that penalty anymore, I don't think. I'm pretty sure you don't have the repair penalty. Nope, you just have to repair it the normal way. Okay. Uh, you are looking at a repair roll of control plus engineering difficulty three to uh, find a way to bypass the existing damage systems in the sensor grid and get and try to get rid of some of the noise that the bridge is here is going to be seeing on their uh, sensors. Okay, day. Um, engineering teams to help with this. Bring down diff. Say again, sorry. Engineering teams aims aims on this to bring down the difficulty. Uh, diff two. I believe you can and... summon Zeft. Right. Oh, he he's uh, currently uh, mid base still. Tragic. Yeah. And actually, yeah. I'll, I'll I will I will charge myself for that. A uh, question. Yeah. How many crew support are we down from the get go? Because hoplites on the Maymark is one. Uh, so far one. just that one. Uh, I think we've got like a um, civilian crew helping out. We did last. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. As of this episode, the only ones that we on camera until that civilian crew comes into it again, um, the only one that you would mandatory have to be spending is the is the uh, hoplites. Hoplites, because okay. they are they are active. They can't help but be active. Right I was now. just making sure I got everything reset on the sheet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, in that case, haha. -ha. I'll pull him to the top. I'll get rid of the old. Oh, he's a law. I forgot. Delete him. Go away. And I will. I'll spend one. Uh, one threat focus in emergency repairs. One threat, you say? Mm hmm. Could I also use use the trait of facts as thinker to? To be able to diagnose this, this very quickly and get the sensors up really quickly to save time on getting the sensors up. Say that again. Or, Sorry, I misunderstood you. Uh, use the trade of fast thinker, thinker to uh, decrease the time it'll take to do this task. Sure, I'll take that. And bold reroll. And you have managed to get the uh, find a bypass of the sensor system. The, the sensor, the breaches are still there, but your sensors are working properly functioning, now. Functioning as normal. So I haven't wired up a, like a Christmas tree, so it'll give me too many bumps. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think after, like, after that, 
you know, go back to standard orders of whenever time is available, try and fix shit. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, yeah. After the sensors, there's I think next will be computers. There's on my list. And we still okay. have structure damage too. Uh, one breach. Shh. That's it. We have one breach in structure, or, or and that's been bypassed. Well, one one breach is just an impact that, that doesn't really do anything to you. Yeah. Uh, long long term, other than make it easier to damage you later, but that requires uh, a damage control specialist who's not uh, hospitalized or a dry dock. <laughs> um, uh, actually, E-Captain, I'll take your suggestion on this. Do you want computers or communications next? Well, we've bypass the sensor so they're okay for now I'm kind of in between communications and weapons um I didn't consider or er, er, weapons I was thinking of saving that for last but if you want me to move them up I certainly can I mean if you have a task to do anything uh, they're the two that I'd want doing next You have time for one more repair before uh, the sensor roll comes into it. Um, let's do communications so we can at least talk to people. Uh, I will go with the same difficulty. Same task, same difficulty. All right. Uh, let's apply my uh, engineering team to bring that di uh, diff down. Right. Focus in emergency repairs and take one threat. Oh, GM, we need to add three for Oda. Didn't I? I did not. You're right. Three threat game? Yeah. Three threat yep. game. They get all the good ones. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. You guys have had three here. threat games. What are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, you are able to find a, you're able to get a bypass through the, uh, through the auxiliary subspace transceiver. Uh, the primary one's basically just fried and there's not a whole lot you can do with it. It's a very expensive bit of paperweight hanging off the edge of the ship, which, yeah, unless you have a dry dock, there's no real way to repair that. But hey, that's what the backup's for. You just have to cut off all connection to the primary, which makes the comms guy's life a little more interesting, but it's doable. They're trained to deal with the auxiliary if they have to. And it's shorter range, but it's not like you're making long range uh, subspace communications anytime soon. I mean, <laughs> we were going to send one off eventually. You know, uh, I'll, I'll work on long range in communication soon later. We at least got a uh, intro system. Uh, and Shusha Shreer eventually reports after a bit of time. Uh, approaching last known sensor contact position. Uh, should I come to all stop, sir? Uh, yellow alert, all stop. Yellow alert, all stop. And the ship falls out of warp. It shields power on. And for some reason, I don't have the shield thing on there. Why? Let's fix that. There. Uh, could that? I, I want. I know what's out there. Y yes, sir. All right, cadet. You have a very difficult task ahead of you. Um, but at least it's not plus two from the sensors. Yeah. Uh, Jesus. 
Um, uh, this will have to be an extended task uh, because your initial scans, your scans of the of the imminent area around your ship, um, are not are not really proving. Uh, Either they're so well hidden that you have to spend extra time looking for them, or they're further away from their last known position, and that requires uh, a very specific sensor sweep. That if you do it because you're because th- you're scanning three dimensional space, if you do it inefficiently, you'll be here all month trying to look for the ship, assuming it's not in motion, assuming you know. Uh, that if it fell through a wormhole, the wormhole isn't isn't closing, that sort of thing. So to that end, because otherwise the difficulty was going to be uh, uh, over te- uh, difficulty ten. So extended task is what applies here, because otherwise you're not going to get it. <laughs> so <laughs> unless you want to try a pl- an over ten check, but I don't think you can get that. Well. Theoretically possible. I don't want to try my luck. I mean, <laughs> I, I could direct the cadet, and Draven could assist as well <laughs> with I'm the ship. Yeah, you can you can with, with faith report that your scan's going to take time because you you ha- it's you know either they are they're real close and they're super hard to see, or they're a lot further away than uh, than their last known position. Um, so, if I could find the thing I was looking for, that'd be awesome. Ah, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Alright, so, give me a control or reason plus con or science. Difficulty of three, work of 18, magnitude three, three, I said, it's not four. Uh, and resistance of two, because the way you lost contact is <clears throat> abnormal. Okay, uh, I'm going to spend three momentum, four dice. Um, sensor operations focus. Uh, yep. Okay. Do you want an assist? I think I can assist here to give, um, my, uh, coordinated efforts. Mm Mm-hmm. That, would you like scrutinize two or progression one? Uh, progression is the one that that does uh, extra work, right? For- hmm? Scrutinize gets rid of resistance. Yeah, I think I'm gonna want progressive just because even though there is resistance on this one, I don't think it's enough resistance to to, to need that much. Uh, um. mm. Okay, can I assist with control command here, Jim? You certainly can. Right. And uh, is the ship rolling its sensors? Dynamics. Uh, sensor science, since that's the primary role. Okay, I got the ship. Okay, that's six hits, so that's uh, three of our, that's, uh, we're back up to full, and I'm rolling. And you have a float as well. Okay. From me. Got it. I have six challenge dice. Uh, spending that float to reroll four. Much better. So with progressive, that's two, four, six, eight. Uh, hang on. Uh, is it too late to roll my 
uh, my untapped potential, or uh, it's t- it's too early to roll that actually. Oh, okay. The, the task has to be over then. Yeah. Because it happened. It, it, it's it's a, it's as a result. Uh, actually, no. Um, it, this would be the time to do it because the result of the roll is occurring right now. Yeah. So never mind. Okay. Yep. Nope. Nothing. Uh, in that case, I'm gonna spend one momentum off the top to uh, eat through that resistance. But you could spend you should spend the bonus that I generate from assisting. Uh, you. I, I had to spend it to re-roll the four. Okay. Cool. Wasn't sure if there was any other bonus, so yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, eight work generated, one magnitude achieved. Difficulty difficulty goes down by one. As the first thing you recognize is they are definitely they definitely didn't cloak at, like they weren't like falling after you and then just suddenly cloaked on you, which was something which is something that you're able to confirm because more cop gave you that little bit of insight to work off of that. Uh, that their their cloak also has it has an active cloaking system and a passive cloaking system. And that passive cloaking system is something to account for, but you are sure that they are not uh w- w- within long range of you. So you're gonna they're likely uh further away from you. So the the way to to sol- there's two ways to solve that problem uh, efficiently, either to get the either to fire probes in various directions in a search pattern. Uh, which is the thing you can totally do as science, or you can ask the uh, the sh- the ship to be moved around in a search pattern. Just depends if you want to be firing up probes into the deep, or if you want to be staying on, uh, be uh, scouring the area yourself using your visual sensors as well. Uh, quick question, Jim. Yeah. Which one is more resource efficient, given that we might be out here for twenty years? Uh, the, the second first- one. Or the, yeah, I was gonna say the second one, the one that doesn't require us firing all of our probes. Yeah, because mm-hmm. for every uh, probe you fire, that's one less uh, shell that could be re- repurposed for uh, torpedoes. <laughs> yep. You, you need to take the Voyager torpedo talent. <laughs> God. D- do any of us have rocks in our replicators? No. Wait, I was sleeping on the torpedo all this time. How did that get? Oh, the, yeah, the captain shares that... the torpedo. <laughs> Well, uh, well, Captain, I've managed to confirm that, um, uh, good news, they're not directly on top of us, meaning that they're not hiding right on top of us. Bad news, uh, that means that they're not here, and we gotta keep looking. Understood. Uh, Lieutenant Shishre, uh, create a search pattern heading back along our route just before we lost them. Hopefully we'll be able to pick up something while the cadet continues scans. Need to make the uh, roll again? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, testing a theory, theory into practice. Yep, I'm going to up the complication to three. Mm. Why? Okay. Just because you can. Well, there's a uh, reason. I, I just thought of a reason why it's more complicated. Yep. Uh, and you're going to keep, but you're going to let the difficulty stay at one. Yep. Okie doke. Um, I am. That is threatening. I'm going to spend two momentum <coughs> uh, for a fourth die. Uh, my everything. I. Roll for the ship. Okay. Oh, and it could still complicate on me. And and Thralic? Damn. Yep. Are we rolling? Good yep. because that that would have been a complication, Thralic. Yeah. <laughs> um. I definitely yeah. hits. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Two float altogether, including Thralic's assist float. Hang on, gonna roll my. Also gonna roll my untapped. God dang it! Keep giving him one and one. <laughs> okay, here's the six for the. In this case, uh, you just wanna 
quietly say that you're not Varder. I'm not Varder. <laughs> I'm not Varder. I'm not Varder. I'm not Varder. <laughs> oh, I gave a threat. Hooray. Yes, yeah. you did. Yeah. Uh, spending <laughs> spending that one to uh, re-roll three. Yeah. Two, three, okay. four, five, six. Six. Spend one to drop the... And spend one to uh, drop the resistance. Do I just spend to finish off and fill? Yeah, completely? I was gonna say that'll be four momentum if you want to spend that. Laugh all you want. Calling on the sacred name works. <laughs> <laughs> the sacred name. <laughs> this amuses me greatly. And. Uh, I'm going to adjust something on my GM side of the map, so I know where you're supposed to be. <laughs> one of the benefits of not being the one streaming is I can I can use some of the maps to hide stuff. I'm happy I could help. I appreciate it. Um, how far away should you be? One, two, Um, I will say to you, Cadet, that, uh, you will, you, you are going to find them, um, at current, you're going to be finding, you're going to make sensor, you're going to reestablish sensor contact at extreme range. For each two momentum you spend, uh, you can increase the range band at which you see them. So you can see them further and further away. Hmm. Got it. Reflecting the fact that you are a, a, a especially talented science, uh, sensor I operator. So you, uh, you, you... First thing I'm going to do, hold, uh, I am going to burn my Legion of Honor. Uh, two bonus momentum on the board, immediately spend those. Okay, so you're going to give yourself one more range band away. Uh, do you guys want to spend any more than that? Uh, sure, because the sooner we find them, the better. Yeah, okay, so two more. Down to one momentum. Boop. Okay. So I think it's up to string two now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so... I think that was worth while spending. We'll find out. I'm picking up two sets of contacts, sir. Uh... One is, I've got the Maymox, sir. Any of the uh, contact, cadet? Oops, sorry, 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 sorry. There you go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, is it the Kraken? What, what was that question, Frolic? Identity of the other contact, cadet. It's big. That's descriptive. Uh, Can you put it so on screen? Uh, to, uh, he'll say some, the actual amount, like X many kilometers or whatever. Uh, it's scale 20. Oh, so it's now the ownership again. Um, yeah, so on screen. Nothing different. Uh, wait, what, what question would you like to ask today? You are the sensor operator. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm trying to determine that. Uh, oh. Ooh, yes. Uh, does that ship conform with uh, Valdemona uh, ship profile? No. Conform. Negative, sir. That's not an Aldemona ship. That's something else. Delightful. Like, oh, yeah. actually, I know. I know a better thing to do. Better. So you do have a view screen, and I know how to, I already programmed how big they should be. And oh shoot, hold on. I need both of you to shrink down. There you go. Oh, you can actually put it on the view screen. Oh yeah, I, I put it there for. I have that screen for a reason. I would use that screen on screen. What the? Oops, you can't see that ping. There you go. Space station? It looks like a station of some kind, sir. Or is it a moon? 
No, that's no moon. Well, God we, damn it. We, we can decide what it is when we get closer. Lieutenant Shishre, take us closer. Uh, security, be advised, we could be coming under contact. That energy signature is from the unidentified signal. Some more is that a full roll? Uh, you can spend momentum for extra questions. You you have made sense. I will note that seeing the station was as hard as seeing the the Klingon ship. Got it. So there's a passive effect on the a passive trait on the scene that's making any sensor contact difficult. Mm-hmm. What that is is not made clear yet, but you know something's made it hard to see it because you guys should so, have seen this. So thing. it's okay. Uh, yeah. So it's not just our okay? sensors. Yeah. Are you guys okay with me? Yes. Spending my last momentum oh, yeah. to answer the commander's question. Okay. You always spend threat too. Mm. True. <laughs> but we'll get. I mean, to what's that the bridge. worst that can happen? What is your question, Cadet? Uh, commander, you wanted to know the power output. Is that what you said? No, I wanted to know energy signatures. Yes. Okay. So is is this thing active? Right. Basically, or, like, like, yeah. Uh, yeah am I is it putting energy? off energy we can read, and what type of energy is that? If it is, basically, yeah. yeah. Am, I, am I getting energy off oh, any energy oh, I can... off this thing? Um, please not be chronotons. Please not be chronotons. Please not be chronotons. It's Omega. <laughs> the entire ship just shuts down because we detected Omega particles. Yeah, you, th if that were the case, I would have told you nothing and said your screen has a big symbol appear on it and you come to full stop. <laughs> What's do, yeah, do I get to ask a question? Yes, the symbol in front of you is the symbol for Omega. That's all you know. <laughs> oh, I don't even go that far. I just say it, hey, it's some Greek letter. Oh come on, a cadet would know what Omega is in the Greek alphabet. Come on. I know, but I'm trying to like keep the players in. In suspense, because as soon as I say a hey, Omega, uh, everyone's gonna uh, light up and start panicking. Like, no, 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 you don't panic. Oh, you I don't make know them what panic. Let them stew. <laughs> Let them right. stew. Um... No, I have the commander panic, and then, and he brings the panic to everyone else. Uh... Okay. So, oh, uh... commander, it looks like you've dropped your panic. Energy signatures now, Commander. Uh, oh, that's that's something. Uh, that's a unique system, uh, Commander. I'm picking up uh, some kind of a zero point cell power system. Uh, it appears to be augmented with uh, an electroplasma uh, electroplasma based uh, solar collection array, and. Uh, some third generation system that uh, sensors aren't making any sense of. And I would say if my understanding of the cadet is correct here, those would be systems that could operate fairly indefinitely in the kind of void we're in. We might be looking at something that's used to operating in this region. Um, um, cadet, can you forward me those, those engineering scans? I might be able to make sense of it. Uh, yes, I'll, 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 I'll I'll jump ahead of you there. Your chief of engineering, oh. you would have been informed. Okay. Uh, yeah, I would just like to uh, look at those scans and see if I make heads or tails of this. Uh, what are you trying to determine about it? Um, possible operational purposes. Uh, does power does generation? Have any... <laughs> uh, power generation to what ends? Is it Powering propulsion? Is it sensors? Is it? Oh, okay. Sorry. I was like, yeah. Uh, I'm. Uh, I hate to answer the obvious question first, but I hate to charge you for something that you would know, plain as day. <laughs> um, like, like power generation is good. Where, where's that power going? What, what systems? What other systems does this um... this thing have? 
Reason engineering difficulty three, assisted by computers plus engineering. Oh no, buttons. I think your computers are damaged. Computers are damaged, so I'll just do this off the top of my head. Well, you need the computers to do the calculations in a timely manner. Uh, you'll, be here all, you'll be here all day. Cold <laughs> Can ice. I use insight? Or... Eh. Could I assist with reason? You certainly could. I'm actually decent at re reason engineering. Uh, you know what? We'll do it with the computers. There's diff five. Let's let's just go for this. Uh, yeah, I'm decent three... at non reason engineering. Let's do three three threat. Uh, fast ass thinker to bring down that difficulty. Especially since I'm fighting the computer systems in for this. Yeah, I might be able yeah to, I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I might be able to shortcut uh, some of the computers. It's like, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll save the computers some computations. What? Because it's... I, I don't want to deal with error messages if I don't have to. <laughs> yep. Uh, technical I'll just do some of it in my head. Screw it. Say again, sorry? Technical insight as focus. Ah, uh, yeah. And Captain, you are helping. I have four dice. Uh, yeah, I feel pretty good about this. Uh, would you allow the focus and mental prowess? Yeah. Now the shape. Six. And I will. Oh, reroll my zero. Oh. Yeah, let's, uh, I have a D I have the, I have the same score as our engineer. Uh, Um, sir, or er, er, that unknown um, vessel appears to be drawing power from the uh, Maymock. Um, otherwise, it has a full suite of of standard starship functions, engines, computers, weapons, that sort of er, stuff. It also has a third unknown power our generator that is attempting to power up. Understood. So it's leeching off the Maymock. Oh, well, we're going to end up getting closer, so we'll be able to get more detailed scans. For now, have your team ready, and hopefully by the time we arrive, you can get some more repairs done. Understood? Aye, you sir. are being hailed. Um. Okay. We should. Can we? We should analyze that before accepting the the thought of generational tech ahead of ours kind of makes me think uh, it may have more advanced computers than ours, which means answering a hail from them could be dangerous. Answer yeah, so the hail with containment protocols activated? Uh, just, you know, or just running the hailing free, you know, the hailing protocol through the computer or something to make sure there's nothing in it. Run, run an antivirus we, over it. Yeah, we don't want to connect to some some computer killing station or taking over station. If I'm, it wasn't so advanced, I wouldn't I, think about that. But I, I'm also oh, oh really worried about out this third unknown um, power generator that it is attempting to power up. 
uh, isolate the the hail once it's set up then answer on screen if possible but well, let's isolate it first no stop no, spending put that, that. Back. put that back no spend more oh no Control plus security or science. Difficulty five. Assisted by communications plus security or science. This would be a lower difficulty, but your communication system still damaged. Uh, no, it isn't. Well, we it bypassed isn't? it. Yeah, we didn't yeah, fix it, but we bypassed. Never mind. Hooray! Ah. I forgot. All right, folks. Thanks for reminding me. I a hundred percent forgot. I was yeah. sitting there going, "Oh crap! Why did I buy it up?" Yeah, because I, I I said I'd prefer either weapons or comms, but I left it up to Arlen to decide. <laughs> I'm just or trying to steal comms. Arlen's thunder, don't mind me. <laughs> God, would it be, be the uh, first time? Do you want assistance, Raylov? Uh, am I doing this? Okay. This oh, is a comms roll. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, there's a comms roll, but you know, uh, Comms or listen, secure it. Oh. I'm still definitely sick, so the fog God. brain exists. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, it's in science. So it until is. I'm told I'm doing it, I'm me. just like, yo, I'm here. <laughs> okay. Look, Ralph has a sore throat, all right? Give him a break. I. Uh, <laughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. Hey, Paranoid not... trait. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Paranoid trait. <laughs> um. Diff will go down, and I'll bring the comp up by one. Hey, don't don't you have to spend a threat to give him the negative trait of sore throat like you did last time? I'm not doing that because his throat's fine. He's, he's yeah, fine. No, I don't actually sound bad. This right, time. R Rylo's throat must have cleared up. You know, Romulan uh, biology. Shit, it's superior naturally. I was just trying to get rid of to waste. No. <laughs> I wasn't a waste. I'm helping him learn. Or I was, anyway. No, I'm trying to get you to waste your resources. <laughs> well, I'm trying to be nice, so screw you. No. <laughs> Here we go. Come at me, bro. Okay, so... Hmm. Ladies, ladies, you're both beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's tactical system because communications falls under that, so hey, hey. Um, yeah, I know. Oh, we can use tactical systems as a focus? Two. Yep, yeah. Because comms falls under tactical. It's normally an engineering role, but you guys are doing in a special... You guys aren't so much worried about... It's not the role... It's not getting the hail that's hard. You're just trying to encrypt it so it's... Or like put in baffles in the computer to make sure yeah. that you don't get uh, fire spiked. Um, I mean, other than that, I've got a paranoia focus, so... Yeah. Uh, I'll give you a threat, because it's now diff 2, comp 2. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Holy shit. Okay. Well, if you can reroll and get one success. Don't I worry, mean, I rerolled and got two successes. I mean, <laughs> it can... was three seventeen. Yeah. What the fuck is the art of rolling the same thing three times on your first roll? Um. When, times, it was 20, about 20, to be 20. an easy calculation, and then he said on the first roll, and then it, that's not an easy <laughs> calculation. Because <laughs> you don't know how many more rolls he has tonight. Exactly. <laughs> oh, like and not many with this you have you stuff. have uh suitably uh as best as you can anyway uh added extra layers of uh electro uh, uh electric countermeasures there's a word for that but i can't think of it um electronic warfare basically thank you yeah but yeah you can put it up on screen if if they're gonna spike you, you've done everything you can to stop them from doing it. Putting it up on screen now, sir. And on screen appears a bridge full of the Sugita Leth and one La Hoka, the on the bridge of, of of a very messy bridge, covered in blood with various disruptor bolts uh, holes in the in the walls behind them. But they oh, seem to have the one. situation contained uh, at the at the moment. Even if they are in emergency lighting mode. Uh, what's what's our situation, GM? Uh, give me uh, 
a reason plus command difficulty two for Hoka to see how much of the of his ship situation because his ship was in the middle of fighting and then something something hit the ship, which did give your side a chance to seize control, but you were kind of occupied fighting off the uh, the uh, pretenders and usurpers that were trying to get at the glave. Okay. okay. Um, and go ahead. And then it's like, oh hey, the the Achilles is here. Let's give them a hail. <laughs> And go ahead and take whatever resources is necessary to have Hoka have grabbed a disruptor rifle some point along the way. Uh, I think it's one and two. Because he's not a stabby yes. stabby Klingon. So Hoka has a rifle in hand as he's talking to you. <laughs> so that was reason, command, diff two. Yep. Actually, I don't uh, need the little uh, wavy thing because they're on the view screen. Obviously, they're not in the room. Not my greatest ability so i'll give you a momentum for a third die once we get down to where you can only spin thread i'll feel comfortable again <laughs> um sensor operations for a focus arguably yeah i'd take that internal sensor scans and and even external what what's been happening to us while we were busy fighting <laughs> Hell if I know, we just took back the bridge. Is it assisted yeah. by your ship? Uh, it would be. Um, computers <laughs> plus command. For the main do they have any breaches? No, we're fine. Oh, well, you do. Uh, no, we're fine. No, no, no. We're no, Klingons. No, no, no. no. Uh, yeah, you don't know what's going on in your ship, Hoka. <laughs> other than okay. what? Other than you've gotten control of the ship. That's all. You, and the Achilles is there. And it was not easy calling them because basically everything uh, on the ship is anything that, that used the ship systems is at a difficulty increase of plus two because the ship's damaged on all uh, on all fronts. Ah, okay. Uh, ah, Captain Penn, sir. Yes, we've just uh, managed to reclaim the bridge and secure the glaive from these people who are convinced that Lord Ode is dead. Very glad to see you, sir. Just looks at more cup. Hey, uh, it's, it's good they got it. Um, it's good to hey. What's your name again? Ah, sorry, sir. Uh, Hoka. Uh, La Hoka. La Hoka. Okay. C uh, computer translates that to lieutenant. No, it's ensign. Oh, is it oh, ensign? Oh, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. You're right. Yeah, it, but he got it's promoted from the ranks, so he's older. Yeah, he looks old to be an ensign. And uh, yeah, you're seeing an ensign who's in command of the ship right now. He's a member of House Rasa, Captain. No, Tarkin. House Tarkin. Oh, you got moved over? Well, yeah, I was, I've was. i been loyal to Subgita since... Yeah, like, but I thought, House was, I, I thought House was still technically Rasa. Nope. Uh, it, is, it, uh, it was renamed at the request of House... Uh, House Rasa is not recognized by House of Kitta currently. Okay. They ha they recognize House Tarkin. They do not recognize House. He still Ta Rasa. has Rasa Scavenger after his name, I think, and that's what confused me. Yeah. yeah. Well, Lahoka, it's a case of you dropped off our sensors after basically what's remaining of the Klingons decided to start killing each other. <sighs> Sir, I've got damage across all systems i can't get accurate sensor readings all i know is uh something hit the ship the ship was rocked hard by something but uh, we're in bad shape over here uh and i can tell you for free hoka your ship's sitting at zero power your ship's not generating power like it's yeah. supposed to we're operating only on emergency power i can't even get uh, internal sensors to give me clear readings we're not doing that much better. We've been doing repairs on way, but we see the Maymark. It seems to be connected in some way to some unknown station. We have you on sensors, and we're coming closer. Is there anything you can do from your end? Can you give us some sort of a magnified visuals? Maybe if we see where we're connected, we can take the fight to them. Cadet. First reaction sure. to a Klingon. We're attached to something? Let's board it. Yes, sir. Send the the data you've received over to the Maymark. 
Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, you, 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 from visual range, you see their picture, you appear to be docked with this thing. Like on a, at, at a point where we could potentially have access. Yep. Uh, it's actually on the front end of the ship. Okay. It's your, it's your primary docking port. Oh, Do those poor reading? fools. They, they made a, a land war versus Klingons. Do you have any data on the atmospheric conditions and life support conditions inside the unknown vessel? Uh, as of this second, we do not. We are coming closer, so we'll get some more detailed scans. Um, for now, just make sure the ship stays together until we can get closer. So, right. uh, if, if you go, uh, from what I'm figuring... Uh, if you get close to the docking port, you might be able to scan the atmospheric conditions on the other side. Right, right. You see Hoka, like, strapping this, like, big bag over, over his shoulder and pulling out, you know, the Klingon version of a tricorder. Right, I'll, I'll get the get the left together and we'll head over there and see who we can see. Uh, La Hoka, yeah. a word of warning, this station seems to be highly advanced and has systems we're unaware of yet if you do anything just be aware you may be walking into a situation you can't handle fair enough but maybe at least from the point of attachment i can figure out how to tear us loose <laughs> oh, tear. just don't do anything too reckless until we get there no promises I'll just signal for the comms to cut. I don't know if we want to cut that or just backburner it, given how uh, difficult it seems to have been for them to establish communications. Yeah, can we? Yeah, can we just like put them on hold? For, for two momentum, you can maintain a, the channel and not compromise your uh, sure. system's integrity. Uh, well, I said just put them on mute in the corner. Yeah, basically. Okay, let's head to Shreya. Let's get us closer. Let's see what we can learn about this station and how we can help the Klingons. Uh, whoops, bird. Right. I actually want this one. New scene, not that it matters currently. Oh, I don't need this grid. That was just for reference sake, for my sake. There you go. What course would you like me to set, sir? Where do you want me to go? Could I reason out a ideal place to get better scans on both the Maymark and the station? Uh, close range, the closer you are to a target, the better. Or you have a probe sitting in that same area, and you can use, and the probe can be your eye, without you having to get it actually closer. I'd say on this occasion, let's fire off a probe into close range, because I don't want the ship to get caught by whatever's draining power. Maybe move us into long range, so oh, if you know things go oh tits up, we'll we'll be a bit closer to grab the Maymock. Yeah. So maybe move here, fire probe to here. Yeah. Uh, sir, if I may suggest, uh, it might be a better idea to just fire to uh to just fire the probe. If we lose contact with it, we'll know how safe how close it's safe to get. Okay, good at, um, Rylov, fire a probe for close proximity of the station and the Maymark, please. Hi, sir. Probe launches. As the probe approaches uh, close range, the entire a, a battery of cannons lift out of the hull, and they all 
uh, point up toward the uh, probe. And then on sensor, the last thing the sensors see before you even get, before you, just as the probe's just entering into close range, like it's getting ready to actually tell you something you, uh, that you didn't already know. Uh, give me reason plus security difficulty of three assisted by sensors plus security to identify what just destroyed your probe. Ooh, could I do that one? Sure. <laughs> do I do I do it right, love? <laughs> that was my voice sounding worse than it is. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I mean, I'm not doing I, anything. I mean, if, if you want to do it, I can assist you. <laughs> Oh, don't make me fucking laugh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a natural comedian. I can't help it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, so I'm rocking a, no. a 15 for this, but if you want to no, take I can back you up on it. Okay. He's armed. Paranoia. Oh. Uh... The focus won't apply. However, the trait will increase your difficult your complication by one. Okay, I'm yeah, assuming might... not the main rollers though. Huh? Yeah, not I'm, the main I'm rollers. If you're, assist, if you're assisting, it won't it won't bleed over to them. That's just your own paranoia yeah. uh, marring Hell your yeah. results. Um, do any of my traits kick in? I've got. I'm not gonna just rattle them off at you. Um, I I would think so. Um. Just thinking off the top of my head. Uh, no. None okay. of this would apply for this. Uh, focus in strategy and tactics? Uh, I take it at a complication increase. It's related, but it's not what I'm looking for. I'm, I'm looking for like weapons, tech, or uh, uh, starship uh, weaponry, that sort of thing. Yeah, I've not got that, so I'll just take the, the comp increase. Weapons tech is a different game. <laughs> it could be this game. The yeah. the focuses in this game are not uh, prohibited are not prescriptive. They're uh, suggestive. I'll give you a threat. Sure. Uh, and Thralic, because you maintained because you guys kept that channel open, you are able to talk to the uh, to your section on the uh, main monk because you have an open channel with them. Because they likely assisted in keeping the peace on the ship. Yeah. So I'd like to get a, a status update from my teams. Aha. Uh -huh. Reason plus uh, security. Let's <laughs> see. Three for you there, Thralic. The report would be Klingon just be dumb. Um, well, that'd be that. That would be a failed roll. That is so not helpful. Uh -huh. They're dumb, sir. Thanks, Ensign. But I actually want a real report. <laughs> That's probably um, a good thing they've got personal shields. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And body armor. Yeah. Uh. And tight so. Frames. Boop. Uh. Boop. I'm gonna be shooting you some information about what just blew up your probe. And can I go for presence instead of reason? Sure. I'll uh, hoplite commander to lower the difficulty there. Wait, what am I doing? Uh, yeah, sure. There's no reason to oppose that. And then team dynamics focus. Don't worry, Pan. You're getting more info than that. That's just the. I just want to give you that half of the problem first. That's two momentum generated. I'll get the ship now for you. Yep. Okay. Security oh, rolls crushing it. it. Yeah. Dude, what's that weapon? I think <laughs> we. Uh, uh, you're, you're, you're gonna get more information here in a moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's concerning. Kind of uh, looks cool. The innocent, clearly. 
I mean, honestly, it sounds pretty cool. We can't have it. <laughs> we can't have it yet. I mean, we've seen it. We've got scans of it. It shouldn't be no. out. What's if I think? enough scans in like six months. I'll I'll have one installed on the ship. Hey, I can make weapons too. Thank you very much. Can you though? About to have we, Arlen style torpedo launcher. We just don't use them because it. What does it overload every time you fire it? No, it just fire. It, it fires only once, and it's because it's launched him out of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was thinking like, like a, a bow cannon, and that just like parts the deck plating and pulls out. That would be such a structural weakness. But it would be so badass. It's very non-Federation. Oops, shoot. I can't oh. tell you that part. <laughs> I mean, yes, you can. Well, you no, it it it, 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 it it parts the veil. There you go. It takes you a bit, but... uh. You've read about this in a security journal about theoretical weaponry. This is not anything that's currently used by any known uh, Star Navy you know of. But theoretically, this is a thing. Uh, to explain to you, Thralik, um, the report is that uh, Hoka's, the Subgitta Lef, uh, ha along with your forces, have been able to retake control of the Maymok. Uh, Maymox still has damage across all systems. Uh, they are currently at... Uh, they are generating no power. Um, and that isn't because no one's working on it. Like, that's something... Even during the fighting, no one fought the laborers that were working on the engine core. Uh, and your your uh, hazmat, uh, your hazard team was able, is able to report to you that apparently is like, a, like an unspoken rule. You don't attack the engineers while you're fighting for the ship because they're keeping the engine running. So... In right. case we get shot at, please don't screw with them. Like, don't don't blow up any of the torpedoes. You know, you're just trying to seize control of the ship. Um, so the ship should be generating power, and it's not. Um, no one has boarded the ship. Uh, there's mass casualty across the entire ship, but uh, a lot of deaths. Um, on the plus side, they have no injured left. I guess if you want to think of that as a plus side. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And it seems that there is, that uh, La Hoka is the the two uh, remaining. Uh, there is uh, La Hoka and Sok uh, Kral, who are uh, still of the loyalist faction that are still in command. But yeah. Kral is a met is a medical officer, so he could seize control from Hoka. But frankly, he's a little drunk. Drunk. <laughs> and uh, doesn't want to. Uh, I was yeah, guessing. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to take a man. It is one of his values, actually. Yeah, he doesn't uh -huh. do surgery unless he's buzzed. Oh my god. That oh. sounds like a terrible combination. Pend, what extra data are you, uh, what question are you trying to ask me? Because I could that could be a momentum spend. For the for the data you're looking for. Is it can we have it? I mean that that's kind of like the second part of the thing I sent him for. <laughs> <laughs> the second part uh, for two for two momentum, even if you don't necessarily get a scan of it, you now have seen a working version of the theoretical weapon. So it's a long term project that you could engage in. Hell yes. You've seen, um, so for two momentum, you could totally have that and be like, okay, well, it's something I can work on. Is it something that'll be made easily? No, but hey, you now have seen an actual working. The theoretical is no longer theory. It, it is a real thing. You've seen it. Um, I do have a, have an actual question for it though. Um, sure. so it's like phrasing for when it fired. Did we pick up enough data to see how much energy it drew and from where? Uh, for one momentum, I'll answer that. Like, is it like it's one of those high intensity um firing, or is it? Yeah, Wait, really? Uh, 
yeah, I answered your question. I'll leave it there. <laughs> Could I spend one for more detail? Well, what what question are you asking? I, I, I it has to be uh, somewhat specific. Oh. What detail are you hoping to get? Because I could tell you all kinds of things, but they might not be what you're looking for. Did the activation of the weapon come with any form of signal from anywhere within the, the station? Like, did it have, like, anything that... But... For a momentum, I'll answer that. Well, that's fucking helpful. <laughs> Did the pro pick up anything about an atmosphere? Uh, for one, yeah. He could have picked up something. Actually, uh, have that back. Uh, that's specifically why it, was, it, it got destroyed before I got a good scan. Like that, that that that's the biggest problem. The reason you could tell it didn't draw much power is because it get that much energy being used is something it would detect normally. Like it's you, it's hard to hide that much heat being moved around. Um, but uh, as for atmosphere, it never got close enough to establish the scan because the sensor guy never got a chance to look at it. So uh, is there anything... you can attempt. You could attempt from a medium range roll, basically. So at, instead of being at close range, you're uh, at increased difficulty. Because it only got as far as medium range before it got blown away. Yeah, that might be the next course of action, but is there anything anyone would like to ask about the station? About the weapon specifically, because that's what this that's what this roll's about. Oh, is that the case? I'm just going to fucking copy um, those. Targeting scanner? How did it identify either a probe as a valid target as opposed to the Maybach? Uh, How to differentiate between the two? Uh, lack of data. I can. I'll give you back that. You lack data. You don't know enough about their computer system or their targeting sensors. But that's uh, that. Be the sort of answer that I can give you for free is that you need you need to know what their sensor system is like and what the computer system is like. That so, would answer that question. Yeah. So that's basically the information I just got from Corby. Mm-hmm. Fascinating. Yeah. So I spent I got hundred percent spending for the advantage of more data on that shit. I can't imagine that's a good weapon to use in like where they're actual stars and stuff. <laughs> Don't miss. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. if you miss whatever you hit, it's gonna be fucked. Well, but like in in a, in, a, in like in a part of the galaxy where there are things, you know, stars, planets, and all that kind of stuff, you've also got more cosmic strings uh, interacting. So, just mm -hmm. throwing one out there has way more of a chance to, you know, cross strings with other strings and cause all sorts of unintended consequences. And and as we all know, don't cross the uh, strings. Quite a tangle. It would not be fun. Mm -hmm. Peachy with an oar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know who I'm missing. Freaking bloody oar cop. Oar cop. More cop. I was thinking oars and I had just stayed there. Oar cop. <laughs> uh, if that's the case, Lieutenant Shishra, can you take us to medium range, please? So here. Hey, if that's medium, then yes, please. You move to medium range. So I, I have a you move I have a into range of the string projector. Into its optimum range.
I, I have a silly e suggestion. What if the Maymock were, were to launch a probe? I think we're in such a situation that we would have to like literally throw it out of an airlock. <laughs> we have no power. Mm -hmm. You don't need power to launch torpedoes. That is true. Torpedoes, torpedoes Mind you, it's so it, for him it's a difficult. Oh, well. Ah, hell with it. That was my mistake. We, I should have charged. I should have charged you for firing what, off the probe. That would be a weapon system thing. <laughs> uh, uh, not what, power, what about, but it would have been a difficulty two task. What about literally the idea of just chucking out the airlock to see if the uh, uh, computer system or whoever's on there recognizes it as a threat? I don't know uh, if this is the time I, to experiment. I, I will say the problem with that theory is that uh, if you toss it out and it doesn't propulse itself away from the, it isn't launched from the vessel, it will remain in contact range with the vessel it launched from. And if you are, if it draws fire, the ship's going to get raked. Because the shot would have to go through the ship to get to the probe. Or even if it threw itself ahead of it, it would cut through the probe and just keep going. <laughs> You, that's why you launch probes away from you, so if the probe draws fire, it gets blown up by itself. But that's why it has a, torpe to... a torpedo-based like uh, propulsion system, so it, it, it fly probes actually fly fairly fast. We'd be willing mm -hmm. to throw Arlen with a tricorder out there, Lock, though. Yeah. Why does everyone um, hate me? They just like For bullies. I don't get it. like that. <laughs> uh... Hoka, you're you're you went up to uh to the docking port to scan for something, as I recall. Yes. Um, okay. First off, um, I want to figure out how we're connected and if that connection point has something to do with the power drain we're experiencing. Reason I plus do have my tricorder or whatever. Difficulty of four. Complication range of four. Due to the high, the advanced and alien nature of the connection. Uh, scavenging for a focus. Yeah. Um, this is the sort of thing Rasa used to send you to do: look at weird tech and see if you can steal it. <laughs> right. Or scavenge uh, it. Sorry. I'll spend a determination on the value. I can figure it out. Sure. Um, but, but you have two. And I will give you one momentum and one threat to let Warasa scavenging techniques kick in, uh, which yep. lets me re-roll in my pool. Don't suppose you'd let me use science? Hmm. I mean, it's scanning. Yeah, I'll take science. I'll take science. Okay. That will also activate bold. Excellent. There's nothing. Okay, I'll re-roll the whiff, the comp. Ooh. But I have another re-roll, so I'll try it again. Ah, there we go. So that's a total of two, four, six, seven. So three gained, I think. Can I reverse the polarity? No, is what I'll say. <laughs> How exactly do you reverse the polarity of a neutron flow? Switch Mega Mate from suck to blow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That's that's the real scale twenty ship. Uh -huh. Okay. Next step then would fun. be 
is there atmosphere beyond the you know where we're docked the docking port for a momentum we'll answer that please is it breathable by klingons I'll be nice, and I'll, I'll assume that's what you're asking. Just be pedantic, like, well, there is an atmosphere. Uh, uh, to answer that question requires me to open up another book. One second. Are you in the Traveler books again? No, actually. I'm using different books this time. I recommend Stars Without Number for kind of... Oh, man. I need to use that more. I, I have the books and I well they're free but you know I have copies of the book I'm like oh my god I, I, I need to use this somehow yeah they just I backed their kickstarter for the off print edition uh, the deluxe version and it's oh. it has so much good stuff for world building in space mm -hmm. as opposed to not in space actually that's well, true I, I was joking yeah. but <laughs> <laughs> um my brain is not calculating what I'm looking for. Try again, brain. Um, yes. No. Ah, there we go. Just a thought, Hoka. If if you do manage to get on that station and can get a hold of one of them string things, just point it in the general direction of Romulus and you know fire for a couple. Of <laughs> in twenty yeah, years, it's going to be a great light show. <laughs> thankfully, it, it is short lived. It's designed to only have just oh, enough okay. energy to to fire out and then dissipate itself. Yes, but now we've now we've figured out why Spock's red matter didn't work. <laughs> In, instead of like a couple seconds can we just like tape the trigger down while pointing it at Romulus that's very Klingon of you <laughs> motherfuckers hey, <laughs> hey you quite. defected not like Romulans haven't done anything on that scale before. Well, yeah, that's like even... saying you defected from Earth. Okay, it's fine to annihilate the entire planet now. Well, it no. depends on. I don't really need to do to that to Earth. Can... It's full of nukes. They'll do it to themselves. Uh, True. Would an Eva suit stand up to it? Uh, that I can tell you for free. Yeah. Okay. Can I spend for there to be an EVA suit here near the uh, airlock? That is an opportunity. Cost you momentum. Actually, wouldn't airlocks just, just by standard have EVA suits in them? Not in but he's trying though, to put, he's trying to put it, it on like he's trying to put it on quickly and not take forever. Yeah. yeah. Plus, this is a Klingon ship. They don't have like safety protocols. Hell, oh, no, that, uh, doesn't have safety yeah. protocols. It's not called an EVA suit on a Klingon ship. It's called an active boarding suit. Oh, active boarding suit. <laughs> what's my, so, so what's my resistance go up to? Uh, one. <laughs> it's still an EVA suit. It's just, you know, it has the resistance. It's just that yours flavored is less for, oh, I want to explore the stars. My, yours is, this is so we can jump across the, the vastness of space and board them from the outside. Speaking of which, we've still got those uh, mechs that we were working on. Anyway, um, oh, I was about to say, I thought you were about to say we need to do that sometime. Next, our so next boarding action needs to be. So, out. so instead of of like tow hooks, hooks to latch onto the hull, all uh, the Klingon suit just has two daggers. There's that stabs into it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the boarding uh, pins. Like... Boarding well, pins. I, before I head over there, I, you know, um, I'll scan for life signs, like immediately beyond in that area beyond the airlock that is a new role unfortunately that is a medicine role i knew there's a reason he has more than most klingons in medicine he has a medicine of two reason medicine difficulty two to detect life signs would be diff one but there's a, need there's, a there's a wall between in the way 
Yeah, if you want to grab Crawl and have him come up here and do that scan, sure. Yeah, I'll if just he... have Crawl stumble onto the bridge half drunk, deciding now is a good time to help. Ah, Crawl. Good. See if there's things over there, people or otherwise. Uh, he'll stumble over the console and press buttons slowly. Well, he, they're at the air. They're at the airlock docking port. Like they're literally scanning through the door because oh. they don't want to use the ship's uh, sensors because they're, they're that crap. That is how inebriated crawl is. He thinks he's on the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> like when the get to Lith is like, uh, so no, your scanner. It's okay. So. It's okay. He does his best work this way, except for use... today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have cautious or bold or something medicine? And hell. He's not that. Oh, he does have bold medicine. Uh, and I forgot to say take a threat. But I did roll Don't. three dice. So. Oh, well. I increased your, threat, your uh, complication range, too. So I didn't even see your roll. Uh, one comp it, so far. Let's each just keep modifying the roll afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> it's better uh, that way. Do you have bold medicine, you say? Yes. I assume you're rerolling that 19. Because <laughs> my first thought was, yeah. oh, he's drunk. I'm going to increase the complication. That makes sense. Uh, do I have focus in xenobiology? That would apply, yeah. Okay, well, then that's three successes. Oh, hey, Cabal's here. No comp, though, because the 17 is not a comp, unless it's comp four. Yeah. Um... Where are you? There you are. Yes, I definitely want a scene with the Romulan doctor and the drunken Klingon doctor. Ooh, I think doing... there might be a death. In what, that is the, scene. what is the Romulan alcohol? Romulan ale. There's Romulan wine ale. ale. Yeah. But yeah, wine is stronger. Yeah. Yeah. Surgery on Romulan wine. It's time to do. It will probably um, kill him. There is nothing alive on the other side of the door. Blah. Block. Blah. Well, thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Oh, yes. And, uh, I am in command. Oh. <laughs> so this is going to left look over and like, crap, we were hoping he wasn't going to realize that. <laughs> You're very good, Blah. Continue your work. I uh. place you in charge and I'll put a hand <laughs> on your shoulder. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor Sir. Uh, Kapla. Yes, Kapla. Um, and I'll cautiously go over in my EVA suit to the, or in my uh, enhanced boarding suit to the uh, to the airlock. As you advance, we cut the scene down to medical bay. One here. Don't worry, I'm not there this time. Isn't Zeph still there, though? Uh, that's actually part of the problem. One moment. Just assembling the map. But we are facing an opponent who throws cosmic strings at you. Yeah. Silly string. Mm, I don't know. I think they're pretty serious strings. Cosmic silly string. All right. Lieutenant Cabal. Mm -hmm. uh, the ship is currently sitting at yellow alert. Uh, the fighting on the ship has been maintained, has been uh, subdued. Um, for now, everyone's on. Everyone is in their rotation of being uh, slowly being brought back to ready duty. It's just a lot of bed rests or standard follow up care. The only person who is still under observation, uh, because they weren't dying, but they did need to see a doctor, so they just kind of they put triage rules. They're the last person looked at. It's like, sorry, you're not dying right now, so you're just gonna sit over there until we're done. <laughs> Sorry. Also, triage is by rank, and he's a cadet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, cadet Zeft has uh, is stabilized, but that's all that's been done. They did just enough to stabilize him, and then they left him there. Um, so no, no, no one's gotten to him yet. And engineering's been trying to get get at him, and the, the medical base just having to tell them, "Sorry, he, he's he's in observation for now." 
Like they were not going to rush that job because it's a cadet for one and two, uh, they don't, they want the main, the CMO to look at them before they tell other departments what to do. It's like, we're not telling you anything about his medical file. What? That's not, that's the CMO's business, not yours. So we're not telling you anything. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Sure. Not on his release. Yeah. And you only just now finally have to get through all the Klingons that hurt themselves, all the Starfleet people that got hurt. You're finally able to kind of, Okay. Good. I have room. I have time to breathe. Uh, the ship's not at red alert. Um, no one's briefed you yet on the changes on the ship yet, but uh, the med bay is yours currently. Okay. Um... Actually, I'll go one step further uh, because you might have noticed anyway. Give me insight command difficulty two. You might be privy. You might have been keeping an eye on the uh, oh. department head database. Probably. And you- Probably not. <laughs> With an insight command of two? Uh, of two, sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, it's not that bad. <laughs> wow. Oh, and, oh, and uh, to update a you... Negative, <laughs> negative command. <laughs> and to update you, Caval, uh, this is a three-threat game. Uh, sure you're okay. aware of the situation. Um, two... You're in danger. Always. Still feel safer than I did when we were looking at a bunch of warbirds. Um, with me yeah. on the bridge. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Well, maybe. Focus of paranoia. Sure, actually. I'll take that. I mean, she's generally being given updates by Ryloff as well. Yeah. Because <laughs> that just means I assist on the roll. You could assist on this roll. It, it, that would be reasonable. I mean... <sighs> damn. Oh, what momentum generated? Uh... Oh. Crew, I invite you to uh, update the doctor as to what's been going on so far, because uh, she is now <laughs> apprised of the situation. She's apprised of the situation now. Passively, Shit went but crazy. She's aware. <coughs> um, basically, we came to a stop. We came back to where the Klingons were, started scanning around, had to go further back. And we found them somehow docked aboard a scale 20 unknown station with zero power because the energy is being drained. Uh, When we fired a probe at the station, at close range, or I think it was at medium range, it did that in Discord to it. That was a close range. It was approaching close range. It was about to enter close range and then it got ripped. Also, this uh, scale 20 vessel has a zero point power generation and uh, some seriously strong solar capacity. And other stuff we don't know yet. Yeah. It's very nice. And and it fires cosmic strings, which can shred any target. It's cosmic silly string. <clears throat> Yes, it fires space. out and goes. It... Blah, 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 blah. Space. Oh, it's a very silly. No, no place. you can't hear sound in space. <laughs> Thank you. Blah, blah, blah. So, so instead it goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. There's been enough psionic stuff. Maybe it just does that in your head. Um... <laughs> just random. She's got a point. Um. Okay. I mean, nothing I can do about that now, except, you know, because if we get ripped apart, there's uh, it's not a lot I'm going to be able to do about it. Uh, um, yeah, there's not wounded for you to deal with aboard the Klingon ship. There's no wounded whatsoever. There's no wounded left, I think is the correct way of putting it. There's no wounded say... whatsoever. <laughs> no wounded, and there's less people. I was gonna. That was gonna be my next question. Um, okay, so I guess then, uh, then 
and the next order of business is to take care of the one person that is left that needs to be seen to. Yep. Open the airlock. There we go. No. No, we like Zeph. I don't know about that. Well, more than Arlen. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Zeph is. Do I need to buy you guys cake? What do I do? I'll take, take cake. cake. Like, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. insulting, if insulting you gets cake, sure. Cake? <laughs> Bully you for cake, yeah. You best not be lying, because I cannot take the cake being a lie. I'll <laughs> boo with you. Boo. Cake or death. Cake or death. Okay, that, that I'm okay with. All right. Um, um, can I like take a look at his chart? What have they already determined? Give me. Uh... What's the what's the bio bed telling me? To what's, to drink what's, a cup of cement. What's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even need to finish saying that one. You only knew what I was going. <laughs> <laughs> you just tap him on the head. Hello, are you dead? Uh, you're looking at an extended task. Each point of magnitude will give you some more information. Okay. Because he's had a he's his uh he's had a bad day. He's been having a real bad day. He's not dead, but he's not good either. So. I wanted to check his pulse, so I ripped out his heart and it stopped beating. I don't know why. <laughs> Read this and roll. Work track 15, magnitude 3, resistance 2, difficulty 2. Yo, I, I really should uh, cut my medicine. Um, okay. Is this as a result of what happened last time? Yes. Likely some complications occurred okay. uh, due to him uh, uh, not being treated immediately. But again, it was okay. one of those, he's, he's not yeah. uh, he's dying, so we, um, we stabilized either, him on the bed. <laughs> yeah, so either um, maybe disaster medicine or pain management? Oh... Uh... I'll take either. I'll give you a different. I'll give you different information based on which which uh, path you go. Okay, let's but they're both, start. They're both yeah, let's start with disaster medicine because that's like figuring out the reason for his injuries. Uh, do you want any assists from medical staff? Um, sure. I just uh, and I think the, are the computers it. still damaged? I think they are, right? Yeah. Yep, yeah. I have not got around to fixing them yet. Because you, you don't have to a use way. the computer to use your tricorders and just do it manually, but if you get the ship to help at all, the dip jumps up by two because the computer system's still damaged. Hmm. I'll get a... I mean, my whole thing call. is... Uh, make, especially if I'm using disaster medicine, probably not using the computer. Okay. Um, I do have the thing... I think it's field medicine that like allows me to be okay with less than yep um, perfect conditions for treatment. If you if the field or if, if uh, circumstance essentially it may, would make things harder, congratulations. It doesn't. <laughs> yeah, it's ignore comp if uh, difficulty uh... increases is from th not having proper equipment. At this stage, you're just scanning him. You have the proper yeah. equipment. But when okay. treatment when treatment comes into it, then uh, when you actually have to okay. like, fix him, then I'll I'll be asking you. You won't be increased for that because you'll make do. Okay. Uh, That's why you're not reading the bio bed because if you're using the bio bed, you're getting the ship to help you. The bio yeah. bed's giving okay. you like random error messages every so often. That's fair enough. It's asking for a Windows 98 update. It's blue screening. Um. Confusing Wait, engineers. He has, he has Why do we have windows? <laughs> Wait, he has potato on DNA. What's going on? <laughs> oh, why is it asking me if I want McAfee? I've never wanted McAfee. Go away. 
I told you there's um, a virus in it. Oh, we're still using Windows Explorer, that's why. <laughs> Damn it, Arlen. Of course, we're explorers. Okay. That's how you push the red line. <laughs> Um, okay. Um, let's see. Oh. See. See, this is why I don't like bold medicine. <laughs> oh, I look at him. I, I know you do. Mm-hmm. Um, well, if you want, uh, I said the specialist is assisting. I think she's got surgical savant, but I don't think it's a surgery. You're not yeah. at surgery yet. Yeah. Yeah. This is just this is just scanning the patient. This is diagnosing the patient uh, part of the uh, yeah, exam. Task. Diagnose you with dead. Gonna give you a. Um... Two, uh, momentum and a threat. Okay. So I have a reroll, just in case. Uh, for right, so would you allow xenobiology as a focus? I would. Uh, give me six challenge dice, Doctor. As you look over, as you scan them and try to <laughs> diagnose them. Uh, so far, you're doing zero work. Yeah. That's a... mm. Oh, I'm sorry. For the medical staff, were you bringing down the difficulty or the resistance? Well, you can't do that with uh, with them. I'm not... No, you can. That's It's an advantage. You can totally do that. You can bring down the resistance by one or the difficulty by one. Um, and it takes, you can use momentum to reroll. Yep. Yeah, I've, I've already spent one for your reroll. So you just reroll four, unless you want to reroll those deltas, but I doubt you do. Well, that's better. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Eight the... minus two is six work. Does the medical team reduce the resistance by one? That's the question. If it's difficulty or resistance. Oh, I said resistance. Sorry, I don't you did? know. If it, maybe it cut out. That gives you one more. Uh, one second, I'll be right back. Because difficulty isn't the worst. No, and considering you've just got a magnitude, it's now difficulty one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. How's everybody doing? Yeah. Dying slowly and quietly. Quit. Not quiet enough. I know, right? I thought you were doing better. Yeah. I'm dying slightly slower than I was before. So the rate of death has slowed down. Therefore, yes. he is improving. Exactly. So how do yes, we... The rate of death never goes to zero. Yeah, so how do we increase the rate of entropy? <coughs> um, uh, there's a lot of ways torpedoes. Just, just unload our yeah. torpedo magazines. Well, the increase in, betri- in entropy, you want to decrease the amount of energy leaving the system, right? Not uh, increase yeah. it. Being in you the want Polish to... neighbor's garage a couple of hours ago when there was an explosion could have done it. It was like uh, six oh fire no. trucks outside. You want to decrease the amount the ones of the, the, the drug dealers? Or the puppy uh... mill? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys live in an interesting neighborhood. Huh? Ryloff, are you okay? <laughs> no. Um... <laughs> Sorry, not to out you, Nick. <laughs> Um, it was two houses up. I think that was a drug dealer. Yeah. 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 I'm pretty. We're pretty. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. 
Yeah. Uh, either way, there was an explosion in his garage, and then uh, yeah, there was a, they had six fire trucks showed up. It was great. I think Homeland Security also showed up because there was <laughs> green and orange lights. On That'll the side happen. Methamphetamine. Yeah, I was gonna say, is it a meth lab? I don't fucking know. I didn't go outside and be like, "Hey, it was me in particular." Is probably a terrible yeah. idea to come yeah. outside and do that. Um, <laughs> fair. Yeah, I don't think you should be talking to Homeland Security like at all. <laughs> That's how you get black bagged. Yeah, I'm so happy this isn't recorded. I, I know, think, right? I, um, I'm gonna guess his Homeland Security is different than our Homeland Security. He lives in your country, dickhead. I'm in the yeah. U.S. right now. Yeah, he's he's. It is. Our that's why talking security. to that's them's a problem all, right now. That's why we're all oh, worried. Okay. <laughs> Besides, Homeland Security New Zealand right now you, is um. Oh, that's right. I thought you lived in New Zealand, or you were Dutch. One of the two. I both. Oh, see, this is my confusion. <laughs> I am Dutch. I was born and raised in New Zealand. Just one of I've got the passport to prove it. Um, Not if you get taken by Homeland Security, you won't. That, that is neither here nor there. <laughs> Don't you know, whenever no. Homeland Security takes you away, your passport disappears? You, you suddenly no, you don't disappear. belong to anybody anymore. Uh... By technicality of the word of how New Zealand law is written, there's the distinct possibility I'm no longer a citizen. Hmm. By technicality, to be a citizen, you must have a place of residence there. Oh. Within the last, like, three years. And I do not meet that requirement. <laughs> However, you, I still have the passport. You can get citizenship revoked retroactively? Like, after it's been granted? Um, well, I'm a born citizen of New Zealand, so I don't think they can remove that. I don't know. Yeah. It, it like, varies from country By to the country, word of law country... as written, it is fucky. There, there's some <laughs> countries that have, have specific uh, citizenship requirements that you have to you maintain. Mostly, yeah, like, given... actually live here and pay taxes. Like, it's a somewhat legitimate concern that it wouldn't count anymore because oh. New Zealand has not been letting in its own fucking citizens for the last two years. Oh, you're just yeah. a citizen of the world. See, uh, that, that is legitimately what they, the government has been saying while leaving people of their own country to fucking starve. Huh. It's a problem when the Taliban gives you better refuge than your own country. And that has been happening well, to New Zealand citizens. Well, now I'm really sad because I thought New Zealand was a good place. Oh, it's a great place for tourists. Um, <laughs> the government does not give a fuck about you if you're a local. I am back. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> We're so, talking about how um, terrible New Zealand is. <laughs> Why do you think it became a penal colony in Star Trek? <laughs> I was going to say it is a penal colony in Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um... <laughs> I'd book my passage for Pitcairn. <laughs> uh, so that was six definitely work. worse than New Zealand. Brought down the difficulty down by one. Um, the first magnitude lets you know that the cadet has suffered, um, is basically recovering from uh, the. Well, the funny thing is that what some people were worried about was that if he was somehow uh, hurt, he actually got hit by the, um, despite the fact that he seemed lucid when he came in and stuff, um, the crushing of the deck plating, uh, he actually did uh, get very badly concussed and it kind of slowly degraded with time because okay. no one thought to look at it and he seemed energetic and peppy and then, then he just kind of slowly got weaker and weaker. Uh, but it's like, he's stable now, but it's like, yeah, but that didn't solve the problem. All you did was make sure he's not going to die. But at the moment, he's kind of useless. That's why he's under observation, because he isn't getting up and moving around on his own anymore. So like, yeah, we're going to keep him under a presser field until we can figure out what's wrong with him. Honestly, until we can get the doctor to look at him. I honestly would have laughed if he just would have come out and said, oh, he just decided to go into his Denobian sleep. 
in the middle of a crisis. <laughs> hey, when you gotta sleep, you gotta sleep. No. Um, how much threat would it be if you have a Denoblin and just go into ew, hibernation? <laughs> Uh, if it wasn't established, just two. If it was already established, I wouldn't spy, spend for it. Because if someone, if, if a Denobian player is going through the trouble of tracking that, fine. I, I will go by what you tell me. <laughs> that yeah. happened with uh, uh, Efrix. That was the thing I actually. That's the thing I actually have to yep. worry about sometimes. So it's like, how closer? It's like, by the way, how closer are we to your character falling asleep? <laughs> that, that may uh -huh. matter all of a sudden. <laughs> we decided that it's basically the week of their birthday because that's just the easiest way to keep track <laughs> not that but you like can take a nap on your birthday yeah i, yeah. I mean sounds great i would love i just like the to... idea though that's like denobulan babies spend like maybe the first like i mean like their first birthday it... to go sleep uh so to, to treat him normally <laughs> would be a difficulty increase it's not a reason roll anymore it becomes control so it becomes control yeah. medicine to treat him okay. um but uh, there is no difficulty increase due to the fact that uh, you have field medicine, so you can kind of make do with what you have. Okay. Um, does this become, like, does treatment become a surgery? Um, you could deal with this surgically, I suppose. Um, it would turn into daring at that point. Okay. So, so but it is a thing you can deal with with hyposprays and uh, application of uh, external yeah. medicine. Okay. But if you think surgery is a better move for you, then well, if that you, may be the better move for you. If you wanted to yeah. go that route, then the specialist has the surgery event. Yeah. Well, I have a focus in surgery, too. Um, but it may just be just as easy to go about it with um, pain management. Yeah, you can come at it from a pain management point of view. For, so pharmaceutical. So mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, control medicine, difficulty of one. Resistance, I presume, of one. I assume you're keeping your guys on the resistance train. Yes. Um, the other option would be... I have, I have a focus in medical technology. Uh, but I feel could... like with stuff being kind of up in the air um, with the ship, that may not be the best. It would jump the difficulty up by two because you'd be using yeah. technology on the ship. Like you'd yeah. be using the ship systems. Oh, well, let's, let's do pain management. Yep. Um, take a threat. Take your third eye. A. Uh, assist with xenobiology again? Yep. It's probably a good thing that to have. What with the fact that I'm... Uh... CMO doesn't have that. <laughs> uh, you're looking at, at six challenge dice, Doctor. Okay. I mean, Romulan doctors don't really need xenobiology. Um, unless they're doing dissections. <laughs> uh, you're looking at three work so far. I think you mean vivisections. <laughs> <laughs> Semantics. Uh, I don't know that particular. Dis that's, uh, no. that's a no. big distinction. <laughs> There's a distinction there. Would you really like to reroll those whips or? Probably. Yeah, I'll pay for it. One, two, three, four, five. Five work on the dot. Puts you to 11 work to your second magnitude. Base difficulty goes down to zero. Um, <clears throat> so now you're at the point where uh, you could either uh, take a wait, uh, 
uh, a wait and see approach for a little bit and then see if he kind of slowly comes around on his own, or you can give him a bit of a stimulant, uh, cough, cough, spend momentum to fill the work track and he could wake up. It just depends which one you want to try to do. Well, we have a flow. I'm going to need f uh, three more momentum if you want to go that round. You're at 11, you would need like four or more. Yeah, so we have a flow we and three flow. more. Oh, okay. Um, ethics question. <laughs> Always good to ask first. Yeah. Is it ethical to wake him up that way? Because we've had this conversation before where if they, if using the stimulant is. He's a cadet. They're bouncy. <laughs> Um, that makes it worse. <laughs> that's the ship being under yellow alert. It would depend on the, the complicating factor would be whether or not his his services are in imminent need. Um, but in the same breath, he is a cadet, so he is he is expected to kind of uh, be. He's just a step above a civilian, but just below an ensign. Like, you know what I mean? He's mm -hmm. in that weird middle ground where he is expected yeah. to imperil himself, but he's also supposed to be protected a little more than your average officer. So it, it's a murky area. It, it is. He is. Yeah. And he is a, considered a repair team lead. And with the ship damaged, he is. His specialty is required. Um, shit. But then there comes the question of medical necessity. That you need to do this. But that's a choice you have to make as a CMO, and uh, you can you can either make a guess and hope you're good, or you can make a roll, and I'll tell you what Starfleet Medical's opinion is. I mean, I feel like the Romulan thing to do is wake him up. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. And she, like, that is the grounds of her training. So I feel like, I feel like she would wake him up. Right. She would briefly consider the ethics of it. And then be like, no, it, the ship is damaged. He's on the repair team. He needs to be awake. <laughs> and Cadet Zeft is brought around. You can't question ethics if you're dead. Come on. <laughs> yeah, if we're all exposed to the vacuum of space, who cares? Some people might be okay. Oh, wow. That was intense. Whew. Hi, Doctor. Welcome back, Cadet. Hi, Daba. Uh, hi, Zeph. I feel like he's a regular down here. <laughs> I mean, most engineers are. <laughs> So, are we back in uh, Federation Space yet? <laughs> he was just planning to nap for 20 years. Somehow you hear you hear Vin laughing over the intercom. Um, no. We How's the talks going with the star people? I wouldn't know. Oh. I hope it's going well. They seem friendly. Weird what, looking, though. What star people? You know, the star people. The collection of stars assembled in the shape of people who expand upon the... And then he fades out. His eyes roll back in his head and he passes out. Uh... Scanning? Reason plus medicine. Oh, Difficulty? No. Uh, two. Because, uh, yeah, that, uh, you didn't have a head injury. Like, he, well, there was the concussion, but, you know, you, you treated that. He should be fine. <laughs> At most, he'll, he should be feeling like a little buzz in the back of his head because of the pain medicine, but that's it. Emergency medicine? Uh, 
yeah, your patient just passed out inexplicably. That falls under emergency medicine. Yeah. I was I was questioning whether it did or not. Like, no, no, that that falls under e, uh, emergency med. Yeah, and it's explained why they felt over then as not. Uh, oh. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Take a bold. Gray. <laughs> Do I want to finish? Yes. Nah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is one reason to take boldness to cause problems. What did I say about freaking weird? I just want to know who's installed mechanical L cars on these triquarters. Look, they're cherry reds. They feel better on the tricorder. Uh, <laughs> I blame Marlon. <laughs> blame Marlon. <laughs> it's probably uh Let's be real, it's probably something Grinnan had implemented for the whole fleet. <laughs> it's kind of yeah. standard on Klingon tricorders, except they're, you have to exert more force. Yeah, you smack it into the wall a few times. You have to get the keys to move. Uh, it's debatable on if you smack the device into the wall or the ensign using the device. You know what? Someday with you, Corvinia, I'm going to learn to make a make a doctor that specializes in this shit. <laughs> it makes you feel better. It's the other way. So it'd be, it'd be the wrong thing anyway. Actually, no. Para, para would still apply. Never mind. There's no winning. I mean, for years he didn't use extended tasks and then once the players and GM's God came out, suddenly it's extended task every time you turn around. They're so useful. <laughs> I love extended tasks. I've adopted them for my 5e game. For the kids, because they always want to make shit. Uh, with that revelation, new scene as we cut up to the bridge. You said, like, a normal... I think if I remember right, a, a normal Esper reading is, like, 70? Uh, depending on the species, somewhere between 50 to 70, 75, for mo depending okay. on the species. Uh, the max is 100. Oh, good. <laughs> well, it sounds like he's exceeding that. <laughs> oh, great. The max 100 for, like, fully psychic species as well? Yeah, because it, 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 okay. it, it's a ceiling. It's it, it's a yes-no question. And it's Got degrees it. of yes. So I'll put yes the doctor is them. no? All right, crew. Uh, what are you doing? You're sitting at medium range with this unknown uh, space vessel. You're in contact with the Klingon vessel. They haven't said anything to you yet. Lieutenant um, uh, Shashray, be, be prepared for evasive maneuvers, please. Aye, sir. Actually, that is a task rule that you're asking me to do. Um, yeah. That's actually a thing. Sorry. Um, you did fix the engine, so it's not going to be extra hard. This will draw at least one power off your ship. Yes. Daring plus con. Difficulty of one. Assisted by engines con. Right, that's what one of the crew support was. was uh, Because at priorly damaged engines, we had to have one crew support just existing to make sure we had power. That's what it was, yeah. yeah. And you, you guys have uh, uh, got around that. 
Uh, so she'll spend a momentum. Uh, helm control. Oh, uh, yep. Uh, no need to fish. Uh, the, the ship just crits anyway, so. Alright, um, so the ship begins taking evasive action. Uh, because she has efficient evasion, when she continues to do it, it doesn't cost bugger all. Oh, good. What are you doing with that uh, float there? So you have seven momentum at the moment. Mm. Not doing it on the wall. Poof. Oh, it's right there. Mm, probably just let it go. Okay. Uh, Cadet Ven, please attempt scanning up the station, please. Please attempt, please. Ooh, extra flight. Well, considering then, what we're just seeing it do to a probe? Oh, never mind. I, yeah, it's the station you saw, you're not asking the station nicely, you're asking Ben nicely. He didn't do that to the probe. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ven, are you going to scan the uh, the unknown space station? Or spacecraft? Indeed. Indeed. Alright. You're being shot at. I just fixed this damn thing. Whoops, wrong map. Sorry. Whoop. Uh, Cabal is a board. Spinning a threat for an extra die. Difficulty is increased. Oh, that's right. Wow. Uh, d I believe it's increased by one or two. I forget now. Uh, I, I believe it's by one, one second. Unless she has a talent or something, yeah. It just increases, but the evasion task is just by one. I gain a threat, it hits. Oh, we know! It hits on the dock, because it was targeting something. It just it just hit you. Wait, what was it targeting? Uh, your sensors. Sensors. What's it fucking was? As the banks open up, they turn, and... A bunch of cosmic strings get flung out into space, and... Just sure does her best to dodge them, but uh, that's a lot of shots. And uh, it is an alien weapon that she's not used to, to evading. So she uh, the ship gets caught. I mean, of course you're going to spend to make sure you get past the distance. <laughs> hmm? I don't need to. Are you sure? Wow, that, that's impressive. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You don't need to roll all of them. He's going to. You challenged him. You've done this. Lord, for what we are about to receive. So, oh. I don't think we have shields. And reliable. I get to reroll one of those fails for free. Why wouldn't we have shields? Um, look at the damage we're taking. Look at the damage. Oh, yeah. You mean they're gone down? I thought you were trying to tell the GM that we are, didn't have shields up before this attack. No. No, we had shields up before this attack. They, there, there are no shields after this 21, 22, 23. Yeah, your shields are gone. Did, how much did you do? Uh, one, oh, that's right. This matters for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because we actually have a lot of shields as well. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Our shields pop. And uh, for each delta, it's piercing one. Okay, our resistance doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> if, we, if we still had resistance, we would still have shields. Yes. <laughs> 
Uh, so that's a breach to your uh, sensors. Yeah. And, for- and it popped your shield, so it inadvertently does an additional uh, breach. Mm-hmm. Um... Boy, I'm glad we repaired the engines. Your sensors have been re-disabled. Well, shit. Oh, not disabled. Re-damaged. They're not disabled yet. But the damage, the damage condition's been reset because they the, the bypass you just put in just got ripped in half. All right, now to roll for what part of the ship just got smucked. He, he usually rolls structure all the time. He's gonna roll sensors. Computers. Oh. Huh. Um, turn goes to you. Do you do anything in response? Did we at least get the scan off? Uh, oh, you can, st- I mean, if you want to use that as your action, you totally can. Would you like Ben to use his action to scan the vessel um do we still want me to do that uh, i mean we, we couldn't track. just move the we couldn't then just move the hell away potentially sounds like that's the order cadet um reason plus science difficulty uh it would have been three, but now your sensors are damaged all over again, so it's difficulty five. Uh, sensors plus science. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Oh, I'm holding on. Um. I'm just a little sick over here. Don't mind me, folks. Yeah. For testing dear theory. life. Testing a theory, theory into practice. Yeah, I'd take that. You have been, you've been doing a lot of scanning today. Hmm. Um. You know what? This it, this seems important enough. Uh, I'm spending a determination. Always ask questions. Very good. Uh, I- and I am going to spend three momentum for a fourth die. So I only have to buy one I only have to buy one die, but I'm already rocking two uh two hits. So I just need three. Or no, I only need two because difficulty is back is down to four. Oof. Two, three, four, five, six, six. with complication. So that's uh, six hits plus the two for the determination spends. That's eight, eight hits on and a five gives hit. you three momentum. And you have a reroll, correct? No, I do not have any kind of reroll. I thought uh, you had hang on. cautious. Hang on. All right, nope, I don't have cautious. Nope, and no bonus momentum to help you burn that. Um, so. It was difficulty four, so we generate four momentum. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, difficulty would have been decreased. You're right. So uh, one in, uh, one momentum from the float and one additional to quash the comp. All right. Uh, Cadet, you're about to be inundated with a lot of data. Give me a moment. Uh, I need my paint program. I have to edit some of the sheet because I can't give you full access to the sheet. There's stuff in there that you're not supposed, to, you can't know right yet. Not with that rule, anyway. Not with just that rule. Better way to put it. Wait, Efrix, how? What, what, what the fuck is up with that? Uh, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. I have to figure it out. Don't let the don't let the ship blow up before then. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, you can ask me that later. More info? Coming your way? Okay. Oh, oh no, jeez. So it's less of is the Maymot gonna make it out of here and more of is the Achilles gonna make it out of here. <laughs> is what is destabilizing? Oh, uh that at destabilizes subspace and it's making it harder or to The answer is my sanity. Oh, no, it, d it specifically disabled sub subspace, making it harder to initiate a warp bubble. I think that's the one what you're is going this, for. What is this unobtainium level <laughs> god? What? That's breaking the treaty, the, the second Kittimer Accords, that subspace weaponry. Yeah, We should take them to court. Oh, I don't there you go, there. Oh, give... Sorry guys, give me a second. I gotta read this this nonsense. Yep. This this is some nonsense. No, don't worry, we'll just be here. Fine. Uh oh. Captain, I'd suggest we get out of here fast. A bit late for that. We can't take this thing. Who said anything about taking it? Uh, do you uh, do you choose to keep your action, or I swift? think you should. Well, we do have quick to action, I believe, from Rylov. Yep. And you are keeping the action. Who's going next? Keep in mind the Klingons have turns as well. They, uh, if you t decide to let them know what's going on. Well, we still have comms. Although, actually, I will say to the Klingons, you would have heard that that shot. You would hear a. <laughs> noise come from inside from just ra and the whole ship just kind of rattles suddenly as the the battery fires can i get a clarification on that noise <laughs> uh it is a, a sounds like a massive battery of energy weaponry of alien design okay. well that's not good oh, I like there the was a or a more of a uh, that... i think it was more the second one does that armor basically just mean neutronium hull plating? Don't even bother trying. Keep in mind that I'm inside the thing, so I'm through its armor. Um, <laughs> in a matter how many of speaking, speaking, for, how many for, grenades would you like that to be a free question, Cadet? Yeah. I don't Who's have that? grenades, but I have like kits designed for taking things apart and messing with what's them. What's the what's the area <laughs> effect of a zero point battery blowing up? Uh, Theoretically okay. infinite. Okay, it means they but don't. But practically. Infinite. The ZPN. As in, if they have, even if you reduce them to no shields, no breach occurs. Okay. Huh. Huh. Bet you if I overload those batteries, a breach will occur. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Can you think of anything more glorious? Well, yeah, but, you know. In, that, uh, that we are capable of doing at the moment. Oh, fair. Here's, right. a, here's a quick question. Um. So, the glaive of Subkita is still over there. Uh-huh. Yep. Wait, wait. Get the glaive, leave the Maymock. That's a plan. That's honestly what I'm thinking. Hang on oh. a second. I just noticed something that might help. Uh, uh. Don't okay. leave my hero ship behind. We can make another ship. We can't make another glaive. We can't make another Maymock. It's the Maymock. Well, we can make another. We can make the Maymock too. Electric the, the, the Maymock. <laughs> B. No, this is a Maymock not. Then next one would be Maymock A. Maga. Goddamn Starfleet. There was no Enterprise <laughs> not. Yeah, there was. Uh, yeah. That... In, in 1701. Yeah, yeah, 1701 is is Enterprise not. Oh, Everybody no, called that thing. Oh. 
Not, literally, oh, no, no one have... referred to it as that. They've got cloaked minds. Um, I've heard it re referred to as not uh, when, like, discussing all the enterprises at once. We're trying to not die here. We can yes. discuss numbers after that. Yes, this is not relevant. <laughs> so this is not relevant? I'm about oh, to shush. fucking airlock you. But no, um... So this Human is something that... Is sometimes a solution. Airlock is... Is going to bring up. Um, let's see. Captain, if this is a untenable situation, I suggest we extract what we can from the Maymock and retreat. I agree. I'm just trying to find out if we can actually contact the station in some way. I don't think we can, sir. Then? Then I will uh, uh, remind you, you may spend momentum to ask additional questions regarding your role. Yeah, I know. You do not have to. I'm just alerting you to it. Is um, all. Can we contact the station? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll spend that. Um... I'll save you that. You know they have a communication system, so in theory they should be able to hear you across subspace. Or radio, or lights. Like, they have a communication system aboard of some kind. Actually, Captain, I'll, I'll be more specific than that. You would know that they would have subspace transceivers. That would that, would, that you would know. Uh, Captain, I do detect subspace transceivers. Uh, under that, uh, under those circumstances, we could probably try to reach out on their subspace frequencies directly. GM, point point of threat. Uh, that sounds like a bad idea. Does it sound like a bad idea to me? ASP. Um, one second. See, my my decided to throw pizza at myself. Just give me a moment. So Got it. Got my it. my train of thought is, this is clearly more advanced than what we have. Maybe we can mm -hmm. glean something from here to help us get back. Like, not steel oh, tech, but yeah, if, if there's something there we can use. For sure. I think that's a, a good idea. I just also think that these people seem very intent on destroying us, and also they psychic stuff. Us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I would agree if you wanted to start the process of beaming back the hoplites and trying to beam the glaive, but I'm, I still feel it's worth the attempt to reach out to the station. Okay. I... I think it'll be really hard, sir, but we might be able to Communicate. Well, I was sure as shit gonna give it a go. If it doesn't work, then, yeah, 100% beaming the glaive and the hop lights off and we're just fucking going. <coughs> Pardon me, sorry. <clears throat> you mean the cop into the mic like that? Um, so you would like to spend an action to try to heal them? Or unless people have more questions that Ven could ask. Oh. This oh, thing is, uh, this thing is a monster. Uh, Thralic said could she give you a threat for ESP? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. yeah, the question was yeah. answered. And that's all I said. That'll be difficult, sir. Uh, as a heads-up cabal, you'd be informed, especially since the ship's under active attack. <laughs> you would be briefed very quickly what's going on, because you're, you're already right. having injured heading your way. Yeah, after after a shot like that, the ship probably like physically just rocked. Yeah. yeah. 
Do we have any new holes? <laughs> we got the we got the cue from the director to do the shimmy. <laughs> um, you have you have a bunch of new gashes all along your sensor grid, which unfortunately caused an overload in your one of your compu uh, tertiary computer cores. <coughs> That's not healthy. Uh -huh. Agreed. But yeah, if we've got no more questions, it's a case of our. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, I'm going to quit to action. Quick to action. Okay, <coughs> who's moving? Uh, I'm going to reach out to the station. Okay. What do you say to the station? Uh, well, we don't have a name for it. Station. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Oh, go on. Inter Intergalactic Colony Ring. Well, that could have been helpful information. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, also, very helpful. we're just sitting on that one. Uh, hang on, uh, sheer, uh, it's a Shiri starship. S H I R I. That also could have been helpful. Yeah. Where have I heard that before? Uh, some <laughs> of us have heard that before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you like just sitting on that? Hey. Yeah. How long were you sitting on that, Ben? Uh... <laughs> Look, he's a good dad. All right, he's. Ten, ten minutes. Okay. So, can can I get just those two things wrote down in chat somewhere? Yeah, hang on. I'll do, uh, I'll, I'll do it for you. Uh, shoot. Okay. Shit. Cool. Cool. <laughs> There you go. So, if that's the case, I, when we open comes to the colony <coughs> ring, I will start with Shiri Intergalactic Colony Ring. My name is Captain Penn of the USS Achilles of the of Starfleet and Federation. We find ourselves out in the middle of nowhere and mean no harm. We are only scanning so we can op try and communicate better with you. Again, we mean no harm. We just wish to communicate. Please respond. Hopefully saying the name helped, but probably not. I mean, I'll even take a difficult roll. Oh no, there's no roll. Uh, they, they, you, you get a text message back. Yes. Eat poop, fuck the Federation. Um. <laughs> probably. Oops, Psh, that doesn't help you. Om nom 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 nom. Oh, come on. <laughs> Text appears on screen as the computer does its best. Uh, <laughs> it displays what it's being told by the other ship. So, are we still in open comms with the... Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I recognize this. <laughs> Gwent. Hold on. Is this Arbesh? <sighs> yep, sure is. It's what? It's the Star Trek, the uh, Star Wars language. The Star yes, Wars language. Hold on. I was looking at that going, motherfucker. <sighs> can, can we get the raw text of that? No. No. <laughs> Copy and paste. <laughs> Google on, Translate. No. <laughs> uh, so, so I come still open with the station? Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, station, 
We are trying to decipher message. Please hold. We have no hostile intent. Uh, another text message comes up. Hold. I'm working on this one. The message is probably in the first place saying, yo, we don't understand you. <laughs> That's possible, but like... Uh... And I mean, to be Oops. fair, if it's more text of the same, that's still more raw data to work with. <laughs> See, this is what the barrier around the galaxy is protecting us from, Star Wars. Uh, are we if, if, we're, if we are in interdimensional space and Star Wars is in play, oh, then that no. means the Yuzong Vong are in play, I guess, which is we, something... Oh, hell no. No, I remember. No, we already did that, which though. Canon we're remember, touching. we encountered that, like, that dimensional being that could mess with reality, and it made us... First like, Wars Star Captain. And it made uh, us, like, Star Wars for, like, 30 minutes. Hend, would you like to uh, swift action, or would you let the turn go back to them? Uh, I think the commander was trying to say first something. Two, the first two words are Captain Pen. Uh, I would like to swift task. I will take one threat for that translation. Okay. Uh, I'm interpreting that as ESP. Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, I think I'll swift task and spend two momentum. Okay. What is your swift task? Basically, I'm just trying to continue talking and buying as much time for a translation. Uh, then your turn goes unused. Uh, could I direct Thralic to, di to translate quicker? You could you could do that, yes. <laughs> so you're directing Thralic to attempt to translate this alien language? Yeah. Okay, one second. I mean, hey, I'm just <laughs> I just recognize Orabesh, but yeah. <laughs> I was like, you um, e e e e e e e Yeah. No, but I I do actually think that, that ESP is probably how this is happening. Yeah. So well, the, the bit you've translated up. so far, I'm willing to get. Uh, I'll give you a DSP for for each additional bit you manually translate. I'll I'll take threat and I'll let you translate it manually. But there is a role involved. If but you I want to do just it that way. <laughs> but you could just translate it manually if you really want to. It just gives me more threat, is all. <laughs> because that's not that's your character sensing what it means rather than actually researching what the language is. You're reaching out to the force and all that. Um. Well, to the ocean of consciousness, not the same thing. <clears throat> Mine's better. Um, come at me, Lucas. Hey. Um, at least I don't have midi chlorians. Sorry, I'm okay. Um, Suddenly, our GM is crushed under a pile of money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, tell, if he wants. Tell so, me how you really feel. <laughs> that? that character's backwards. Yeah. No, I'm seeing that one too. God, that doesn't right. exist. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just do the roll, nerds. <laughs> oh, I'm giving the I'm assembling the roll. Fun. <laughs> it is a reason plus science roll. Work twenty, magnitude four, resistance of two, difficulty of four. Can I di direct someone else to do this? Uh, <laughs> you can. Presumably Hoka. me. Hoka could definitely assist with this. He's science boy. Oh no. Uh, can he assist? You can. You have a channel to him. You can totally call him and say, "Hey, you, do this." Hey, Hoka, okay. we're translating the a the alien dialect. Please help. <laughs> and uh, uh, and Klingons, feel free to correct me, but I think. That given that your allied forces, Sog That's and Law, are willing to work with the senior officer present in the battlefield. Well, yeah. So, um, for some, for a cask of whatever he has on board, sure. 
<laughs> the loyalty of the Klingons are for now yours, Pen. If they said no, like, no, no, we're going to do our own thing, screw you. And I say, the direct doesn't work. You have to choose someone else. Uh, Ven? Oh, no, 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 no. It, it, Hoka does uh, work. They they did say yes. So. Do you want me to assist or lead? Uh, I was going to get Ven to lead so I can give him okay. my determination as well. Oh, never mind. But oh, he's I, just... Isn't using Hoka's acting anyway? Yeah. Right? So you're directing Ven to do it? Well, I was, but he's BRB'd. Several of these are backwards. <laughs> so yeah. Hoka's just like looking um, for a power junction. It's like, hold on, I think on the screen going, no, 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 that's backwards. <laughs> just about to say, can you use this sheet, Thralic? <laughs> no, but I can say that the second message is, is message acknowledged. Um, so, Another. they are they are waiting. <laughs> uh, okay, Hulker, I'll direct you. Alright. Okay, so... If Ven reason. gets back, he can assist. He's in science. He's... Is Arabesh straight substitution for English? Mag four. Uh, there's a yes. couple hybrid characters, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> Essentially. Yeah, there's. Yeah, there's... Gramma yeah, grammatically it's English. Yeah, grammatically it's English. If I was um, mean, uh... I would have used French. <laughs> uh, I could just do that. The translation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, am I assisting with command? So I yeah. will give you uh, two momentum and one threat for four dice and to activate uh, bold. Um, I don't think scavenging really comes in here. No. Um, uh, at complication increase, it is related to what you're doing, because sometimes you have to translate, do not touch nuclear is someone important to Ross uh, scavengers. Right. Um, so oh, surviving at, scavengers. What level okay. of complication increase. Plus one. Just one extra complication Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Um, that symbol doesn't exist. Scavenging focus, or since I'm doing this in the middle of a deadly atmosphere hazardous environments? <laughs> no. Uh, you, you can take scavenging, it just increases your comp range is all. Because huh? it's related, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for. Okay. So would the scavenging techniques talent kick in? Oh, good bloody question. I gotta read that again. It's on hmm. my sheet. I know. I put it. Oh, that's just a oh. weird. Hmm. Why is it Trillhurf instead of Fesh? Come on now. Uh, technically yes. Okay. Cool. Technically yes. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Oh, good thing I got two rerolls. <laughs> mm -hmm. just out of comp. Uh, I'll make mine a crit due to metal. Okay. Okay, that hits. That hits the difficulty anyway. Give me seven challenge dice, please. Oh shit! I, yeah, no, I don't need to roll. Just... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven oh, minus this thing two. so many times. Russian that is well. five work is being generated from this roll. That will be one magnitude. I will say, I've had to do this translation technique before for fucking Cyrillic. <laughs> <laughs> um, we could spend uh, momentum to get rid of the resistance and do a couple more work if you guys think it's. I mean, it wouldn't give us another magnitude, but break down the work track a little bit further. Uh, we could. Yeah, I'll spend one to for piercing. So, two uh, additional work? Mm -hmm. Is that uh, I'll this? be gentlemanly about this and point out you may want to use that instead to reroll the two zeros, because you might get more bang for your buck. Mind you, this yeah. way is more reliable. So I mean, we could also the... spend one more just to... To reroll as well. Yeah. yeah, so we'll do that as well. Okay. Plus two. Work. So that's nine oh. total. Uh, for the one magnitude you generated, you mm. recognize that this language uh, is similar to alpha is close to alpha beta quadrant languages enough that 
almost it's it's almost it reminds you of uh the, the imperial language in the klingon empire or the right. federation uh interplanetary language that's used the the, the federation standard right so it, it's a, it's obviously a trade language of some kind because there's a lot of it's big very simple lettering and characters very easy to read okay uh that sort of thing that's uh, why that at this point the turn goes over to them i mean i could determination to spend you could are you going to no Yeah. For its second action, you fall out of combat. It doesn't keep shooting at you. Is that because I basically said, "We're please don't shoot. We're not hostile. <laughs> We're translating." I, I could not possibly answer that in that way. I would require ESP to answer that, and even then, I'd be vague about it. One thing. So can I make another roll for the task? We certainly could. Shall I? Uh, oh, yeah, okay. So then they aren't happy with that. Yeah, no uh, shit. yeah, I think if I assist you now, it'll just be a case of... Oh, no, I, I can't really assist. I've only got a one in science. Okay, so I will give you a... We're down to three. Uh, so I'll give you a... Three. Well, drop me to rally. What, what does rally do? If I rally, we can generate momentum. Ah, momentum's he always He gives a rousing speech. So, yeah, if you want, I, I can give us a quick rally. Presence command, difficulty zero. You can totally rally the uh, com the United ships. Uh, I'll give you one threat, just to make sure. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, lead by example. Um, I have to say no. Composure. I would take composure. That's a big fucking word. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, sure. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ is actually two words. Unless uh, which one? Three. <laughs> For a second, I'll let you know when I'm done with it. <laughs> so I believe we generate four. Oh, I think I found, I'm a, I think I found a misspelling. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm two words. Yeah. All right. In that case, I'll give you two and one for four dice and to activate bold, and I'll keep the complication range up for scavenging. Roger. Well, at least I get two rerolls. Actually, I can reroll all four with scavenging. That's better. Here's the bold. Okay. So we That's gained two. five. Uh, it was diff three, so she gained three. And then seven. Two, three, four, five. Minus uh, two is three. Uh, one pierce, one reroll. Plus two more. Puts you to 16 of 20, two magnitude. Uh, the second magnitude uh, seems to suggest that um, this is a language that uh, seems to be written. It's a written language, not a spoken language, it seems. Um it, it's one of the it's 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 the sort of language that you would use for um communicating with a species whose translator isn't as good as yours and you're trying to you're trying to trigger their translator to catch your language and then you have even if you can't translate your language one to one you can translate to a shared language and then you just you can use that it does require it does create a sort of like lag of translation but it can't be done um, until that you give them a proper universal translator. Although in this case, it's the other way around. They have your translator isn't as good as theirs, so they probably uh -huh. can understand. They probably can understand you fine. You just can't understand them yet. Okay, knowing that, I'll start tapping away again, trying to update our universal translator as I make the next roll. I'm gonna uh, peel away your work. No, I I yeah. I protest and you worked hard on that. 
I'm a hardworking Klingon science type. You don't see us very often, and you would do this to me? Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> and to be fair, uh, Klingon science types, even when you do see them, are still ignored. <laughs> Difficulty I'm, temporarily I'm a... increases to three, because now you're working off of it, because there's an oh. added uh, complication of... Okay, now that I figured that out, I can't ask them, could you speak it out loud? Which would make, because that's how your translator works. Uh, your translator works off of spoken, not written as much. Written is what language experts are for. <laughs> Text to speech. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. All right, then. So uh, two and one for four. Two momentum, four. one threat. Uh, okay. Reroll two. Mm -hmm. There we go. Well, there you go. So we gained four. <laughs> well, same as one last time. Those. Yeah, same as last time. One for piercing, one to reroll. Yeah. So that's eight. Hmm? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Yeah, six, you're right. Um you establish your third magnitude. Um as it seems they are keeping the messages and the words short as best they can, but still trying to communicate. They're choosing words that will hopefully trigger your translator better. And try okay. not to use proper names too much. There's a couple of proper name instances, like you have translate uh, Captain Penned or Achilles. It's like, okay, but those are things you already knew. So that, and they're actively doing that back to you on purpose. They're yeah. trying to get your translator to trigger. Yeah. Except it's Klingon, so it's like hard to pen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, what's my diff at one? Are you going to mess with me there? or? Uh, no. Okay, so I'll give you one threat for three dice and my magic things. Okay, so gain one. Uh, gain two. Gain two, you mean? Ah, uh, yes, two. Finished it. So did he. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> well, feel free to translate it. Uh, let's see how close you are to what I have. Well, I found a misspelling, so... Well, that's half on my end, and half the translator. <laughs> yeah. The first misspelling was when I found the second one was, I think, mine, so... Oh, my first misspelling was on penned. Mm -hmm. It misses the P sound, it just goes end. <laughs> <laughs> well, it replaces the P, P with a U, actually. So we have permitted on board an effect navigation calibration. No, the, the, yeah, the P and the U look very similar. Um, well, since Hoka's on board, can, uh, I'm assuming we can now talk or text back and forth. Uh, you know it recognizes your vocal commands. It's it's okay. using text because that's what it knows you can understand. Okay. Hoka will, will say, uh, Captain Pinned, maybe you could get them to reversed what they're doing to the Maymok, we desperately need the power. Uh, Colony Ring 1. The ship you currently have docked requires the power you're taking from it. Could you please release it? So they're currently just recharging their station. In exchange for letting them use our power, maybe they could help us effect repairs, or get just get back to our play, our galaxy. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what they're, they're asking us to come aboard for. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, if they need, a, if, <clears throat> if they just need power but are willing to drop us off in, you know, Federation space, you know. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, call Captain, him. Go on. Captain Pitt, be advised that the atmosphere inside is uh, highly toxic to our life forms. Uh, Colony Ring 1, is it possible to readjust your atmosphere to our life signs? Um, can we just can, tr transfer them the data? Can uh, Hoka, like, not Hoka, uh, Crawl just, like, start transmitting from his tricorder? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, this would be a presence plus medicine roll, difficulty of four to communicate to them exactly what you need, because you don't want to miss a word here or there and go, yeah, we use an oxygen environment. Oh, it's so a pure oxygen. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, can we just send them a data dump? No, that's what I am. I, no, yeah, I am. I am just doing the data dump just from the tricorder. Yeah. So the the interior will be wonderfully perfect for Klingons. Yeah, I'm, I want to send um, them multiple. <laughs> it, it, the data dump you get the, uh, the presence medicine roll is still required because it's if you give them an actual data dump, uh, it is entirely possible they will try to make a atmosphere for all possible species that are in your medical database. Um, alternately, I'm already on board. Um, if they can I direct am, me uh, where to go, Carl is too. No, you're Carl's not on board you. the ring. No, if you were, you'd be taking massive damage. I'm in an EV, EV, an EVA oh, suit. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought yeah, you're he, massive dead. he was following this. Uh, yeah, I thought he was following you this whole time. No, you guys haven't boarded the station. I mean, like I said, I'm willing uh, to board the station as well. It's just a case of... Oh, Hoka's not actually on board? No, you guys are at the threshold. You never crossed over. Because the battle started. Oh, and you guys fair. didn't get a chance to, to storm in and start killing things. You guys uh, were like... You guys decided take, to play translator. Take okay, the momentum fair in a threat. Take how much, sorry? The mo all the momentum in one threat. Okay. Focus in xenobiology? Yep. Uh two of the the two successes are crits, so that's four. Four on the dot. Wait, can't we all breathe in Klingon atmosphere? Yeah, it's just yeah, just yeah, it's yeah. communicating to them what your atmosphere is safe to them. Yeah. Living atmosphere <laughs> is what they have. Right. So you're saying we need something else. That sounds toxic. Please elaborate. Here's the data dump. Please elaborate. And it's like, oh, okay. Well, I have to explain why I'm not trying to get us killed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think for humans, it's just hotter and more humid. I want to tell right, but yeah. Well, yeah, sorry. Yeah. But based on the human baseline. Uh, Colony Ring 1. Is there a way we could receive repairs? Captain, maybe if you're willing to let the Achilles dock and add its power generation to the Maymox, it might speed the process up. Agreed. Plus, I want to come on board and see if I can find a central 
<laughs> Talking place. Yeah, and the navigation. Uh... Hold, hold, wait, 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 wait. Can uh, nano colony repair? Mm -hmm. Is that uh huh? Is that raising red flags for anyone else? <laughs> Greg is a myth. I don't think it's yeah. gray goo that I'm worried about. I think this is green goo. Maybe pink goo. Your meat. Look, whoever's <laughs> on on this channel, you, it, they throw around hyper dense uh, cosmic strings for weapons. I'm I'm I yeah I can. Uh, I want to do a scan, but I don't think I'm a, I'm able able to. Scans are prohibited. Yep. Uh, colony ring. Would adding the Achilles' power to the station help recharge? Same power they're sucking from our teat. Uh, understood, Corny Ring. We will dock with the station. Is there anywhere aboard station I could reach out to the station and trade? Talk? I don't know. Fine. Well, it asked us, said you could board for navigation something? Yeah. Like, is there somewhere specific we can go to talk? Calibration. Captain, permission for the doctor and I to join you? Uh, by all means, I'll. We'll dock. We'll meet up. Uh, Shiri, uh, Colony Ring, could you provide navigation lights from the position of the main docking port, please? Cling on choosing the word, please. He's not your standard cleaner. <laughs> also realizes he's not in a position to threaten the station. Oh, sure, he's talking to the doctor, not me. I see how it is. Wait. I, oh, sorry, I thought... I got backwards. Sorry, I thought you were controlling Krull this whole time. They would yeah. say La Hoka. They would have, they would, they would have got the name right. That was... Do Winchester and I sound that much alike? Just because we're both from the southeast. We're from very different points in the southeast. Well, you're I'm older not than from he the is, southeast. So I... I'm from Texas. That's the <laughs> That's the Southwest. <laughs> fight, 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 fight. No, no. <laughs> Dude, you guys were part of the Confederacy just like the rest of us, so welcome to the club. The Southwest is New Mexico and Arizona. Right, right. Yeah, you're Southeast. If you've ever seen West Texas, it looks pretty identical to Mexico. No, West Texas is ugly as shit. <laughs> Them fighting words. I live in Arizona. <laughs> I mean, I don't give a shit. I don't live in West Texas, but I don't even live in Texas anymore. Can't believe it. Uh, but yeah, no, they they, they will send that okay. That that is, uh, I'll reiterate that that they meant they meant they they're naming the person who's talking to them. All right. Uh, yeah. So I'll get the order for the Achilles to dock with the station, and I'll get a copy of anything we could trade data wise uh, I'll take a threat for that sure it's it's opportunity mm. uh, gathering... I do... hmm? go ahead I guess sorry. we better do the same uh, I won't charge you for that it's an opportunity cost so you both basically get your okay. 
your cultural trade database. It's like, because part of it is sometimes alien species just want stories. It's like, oh, we'll bring along our stories and so oh, stuff. You want this we is how we killed songs? God. <laughs> <laughs> we've got stories and songs. Yes, but we've got many, many cultures worth. Yes, but <laughs> none, none is good. The Klingons are just like, this is how we killed God. Right. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> this is a warning a real and a story. Opener. That one's a real good opener. Yeah. Yeah. Also, also, don't read the English translation of Shakespeare. It's not nearly as good. Translation. <laughs> no, clearly you need to. Uh, clearly you need to watch hey. the Elcor version. Oh wait, wrong universe. God, you have to zoom out so fucking much. It's a big station. Wow, that's pretty amazingly done. It's not. It's barely pixelated. That's kind of cool. Thank you. Also, the guy who did this particular one, uh, these graphics are really good. Um, and actually, I will totally call him out because I've used this stuff uh, just for the stream's sake. Uh, where is it? So I guess uh, Hoka blowing the station up is no longer on the table. <laughs> well, Only way home. Right. <laughs> yes, but... Look at look at it this way, Doctor. We've managed to save the ship, and and if we're if we work this right, get us home. The the Joe will reward us. Uh, I'd leave orders for the commander and Allen to, while I'm gone, repair as much as the goddamn ship as you can. Wait, <laughs> what can be done, so crawl? I may be four or five messages behind. Oh, he thought I was talking to him, and he thought I was playing crawl. Oh, so, yeah. that's what that joke was all. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you yeah, know, uh, million vector is uh, who I actually get a lot of. There's a f the few free sprites he has, and I use those, and I I I do put them through filters to make them look different or color them differently. But their his stuff's really cool looking. I really love it for the top down stuff. Will... Between between them and Pixlr, uh, image editor, that's how I got this. Hey, uh, my love. Hmm. You're coming with me. Oh, lovely. Because it's bad practice to let your highest ranking officer just walk off by himself. Yep. Yeah. Technically, as as an XO, I'm supposed to stop you, but we have an agreement. Yeah, plus I'm leaving you in the care of... Oh, I'm leaving Arlen in your care. Yeah. Oops, I forgot the doctor on there again. Poor Arlen. Okay, so, while I understand that scans of the vessel are unauthorized, uh, as we wander through, uh, Hoka is going to you know, try and be gleaning whatever he can using his tricorder as a calculator or whatever. So Mark and, 1 eyeball scan. And Yeah, Mark 1 eyeball scan with a scavenger's knowledge. Uh, before I'll, I'll get to that role, actually, I'll sure, tell you sure. the role now while, while I ask them a question. Uh, give me reason. Um, uh, what are you looking into? Uh, what are you trying to learn? That changes which rule does. Because it's it'd be like insight plus something. I'm just not sure what you're trying to get insight about. Um. Well, they apparently have really effective like power transfer systems, particularly that. Uh, that bit about antimatter power being unreliable, but yet they're managing to do it, which means they have must have a really efficient, uh, really good power conversion process. Inside so, engineering difficulty three. Ah. That's what that would be. Uh, who is going on the Starfleet away team? Pend is going, Ryloff is going. Do you want to send any support staff played by El anyone else? Not more cop. I well, because more cop's represented over there. I honestly might suggest medical. So this is medical. anti Klingon prejudice. No, just anti more cop. <laughs> um... yeah, does the doctor wish to come with? I have. 
things to deal with. <laughs> yeah, no, I was more suggesting someone else from medical. It's One like... of your support characters. Uh, so what, yeah. Either Colbuck or the council. Uh, we'll, we'll bring Colbuck, let the cadet have some fun. I'm bringing a doctor. Yeah. I don't know if you want to bring a cadet. I Yeah, I, I don't think the counselor might be a good one. Someone who can get a kind of more psychological read on things. God, another click on. Oh, right! <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a scientist instead. Draben, you come in with me. <laughs> no, just bring me another click on. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm taking the scientist. Draben. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Brawl's Cham. <laughs> bring Brawl's Cham. I can bring Cham as well. To to answer the Klingon question, um, uh, actually no, you guys continue to figure out your way team. I, I'll type it out. I just realized right. that he might not share this information. Also, um, our our Klingon counselor is not a like yeah. KDF loan. Our Klingon counselor is like a fully Federation person. So. And he's. But they're uh, civilian, so yeah. still technically not. All right, I'll take the so counselor. You, you, you yeah. got a laborer counselor. Yeah, okay, that makes perfect sense. We have a Klingon Federation citizen. Yeah, I'm trying laborer. to figure out how you could be Klingon and Federation at the same time. I'm not, I'm not sure that's allowed. Do we want to bring anyone so else? Obviously, up? someone who has Federation citizenship. Uh, do we want to bring anyone else apart from the counselor? I'm saying I don't know if we should because she's, uh, civilian. or they're, uh, they're civilian. Uh, is... maybe Yolen and might be why you know, hope with their We're exotic talking power about systems. not bringing a civilian, and then you're like, about what about another civilian? I, I will highlight exactly. that if a, civil, if a civilian is, uh, choosing to be aboard a ship, uh, they can lawfully refuse a captain calling them over, but it is not, uh, civilians who go aboard ship may be called upon for their expertise. As long as if so, the, the civilian acknowledges that they have to follow Starfleet orders uh, when they're on an away mission, they can go. Ooh, what about the ambassador? Oh, yeah, yeah actually, like ambassador good. seems like a good idea. So, captain, ambassador, Rylov, and counselor? Oh, that's him with Vulcan. Yeah. <laughs> Rylov, don't worry, we're always trying to hurt you. <laughs> no. Rylov's like, I hate I hate it here. Why am I here? <laughs> so, yeah, so, so it's to work with the Vulcans. So it's me, and the ambassador, and Rylo. Did we say anyone else? The counselor. I'm sorry. <coughs> Who is this? First activation. Uh, Ram Tarapult. Yes, yeah, so we got Rams of Pult. That's the. Uh, tokenless character. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll give a name and then I'll give access to them so you guys can move this token around instead. Actually, wait. I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. I'm doing it. The, I'm doing it the long way around. Uh, one second. <coughs> so who wants to pilot the ambassador and who wants to pilot the counselor? Uh -huh. Who wants to play uh, Klingon? Uh... I'm good to play either of these. I want to play one of them, but I'm good to play either. So, um, I'll do the counselor. All right, I'll be the ambassador then. You played ambassador. Yeah, needs. To I'm sure yoga very, will be yeah. very helpful on this away mission. Mm -hmm. uh, is this the entirety of the away mission? think so. Yep, I was having a drink. Okay. Um, so, uh, whoop, I'm being asked a question. Uh, for a threat, oh. I will, I will clarify that, uh, Ensley. Okay. Um, I like that people know my name. Well, I could know it from your thing, so. Oh, yeah, but. I was going to say, it's saying Oda would just confuse matters, so I'm like, no, 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 <laughs> Oda's not here. Ah! You have traveled through, through the ocean of consciousness to get my glaive. You could do no, it, I... you just have to leave your body behind, right? 
I, I could see Oda doing something like that. Good try. I think the galactic barrier might be a problem. I think there's probably lots of problems with that, to oh. it, honestly. But... I mean, Oda has crossed the life death barrier. I think he could handle a little barrier, a little uh, intergalactic barrier. Yes, much tough, tougher than that previous person you had in the Klingon game. I think he was a doctor. Oof. Poor guy. Hey, what now? He hey, he got cut in half by a storm god, alright? Give him a break. Hey, he couldn't oh. quite recross the the life and death barrier. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, he, the doctor he... also crossed the life death barrier just in the wrong direction. Or yeah. the right direction, depends how you look at it. Yeah, I mean, you know, he died in battle at in Stovokor. He's pre he died doing pretty in well the afterlife. In the afterlife. Yeah. All right. So, uh, any action? Any uh, when the away teams go over to the ship from both the Klingon ship and the Starfleet vessel, uh, the atmosphere is in fact a Class M uh, environment, uh, and the ship normalized it for each group to be as comfortable for the group as many people as possible. Huh. So for the Klingons, it's a little warmer. For the Starfleet team, uh, they do they'll they'll lean it a little warm given your composition, but uh, they're not putting it as warm as say a, a Vulcan would prefer. Or our Vulcan or Romulan would prefer, but all three of you actually what is um Ram as a species? Klingon. Uh, Klingon. 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 It's uh, Pen, it is fairly warm. It is noticeably warm. <laughs> uh, I know it's going to be, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but it's not but it's uh, but it's actively making sure not to be at a level that's that distresses you in any way. It's just you're aware that it's warm. Crawl crawl look at Hook and say they even it even has the the smog of uh, the capital city, right? Yeah, yeah it would. Yep. You even That's taste a bit of copper in the air, blood lingering in the distance, and a tang of sulfur from the volcanoes. Mm -hmm. It 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 heats the blood. Mm. Yeah, yours sure. probably needs it. It's so thin at this point. Well, let's follow the the lights to the central chamber, or where is it, wherever it's going to take us. Yep. So you guys start heading uh, as you fall, as you walk along the corridors. Uh, there is no people. Uh, you don't see any screens. You just see deck plate, uh, a dark blue deck plating. As you move through these uh, walkways, these walkways, uh, as you as you approach them, they are um, uh, you can't see through them. Um, the but as you enter them, they go transparent, and you can see out into the surrounding uh, space. And you can see the central pivot, uh, the central hub in the center. And you see endless uh, panels that uh, you can see arcs of uh, electroplasmic energy uh, zipping between them. Like it's one massive jet. Like the, this this would be the third generator that you guys haven't identified. So this is a stretch, but do I see any preferential number system based on the uh, deck plane laid out like do do they seem to do a lot of threes or or is five a, a good number for them or are they a 10 base um i narratively uh, there's nothing probative that i could give you on that uh, there's no particular puzzle link to that um they don't okay. have a unique like there probably is something unique about them because I would say they would work up something other than base ten. They are fairly alien to you, but it's not especially. Ah, actually, I shut my mouth. Um, sorry. There is a there is a reason why you'd want to know that. Reason. I'm sorry. Uh, insight plus science, difficulty of three. There's a reason you'd want to know. That. It doesn't matter what the number system is. If it's not base ten, then what is it? <laughs> that matters. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. That's kind of <laughs> what I'm going at. And it would be preferential to how people would build uh i don't have a focus for this but this might be funny uh take three threat have fun with this sure. Huzzah! well you've been uh, activated you've got determination do you want to try and spend one of the two um yeah let's spend a a, a determination uh I mean, do we have the directives seek out new life forms? Where's directives at? Well, I think that's prime directive, full stop. 
No, a prime directive no. wouldn't fall for that. It, but that is your second directive, though, as part of the Narendra fleet. Well, there you go. Yeah, prime directive is is please do not mess up up other people's lives. Yeah. Stay out of your, stay out of other people's business. There we go. <laughs> um. Uh, it seems to be a base twelve system. Oh, they have my respect. Some, that means nothing to me. Uh, they're very count, different. They they're really good at classical 12. guitar and jazz. Actually, they would be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as people journey their way to the core, uh, what are the pe <clears throat> pardon me? What are the people aboard the uh, Achilles doing while the away team is walking through this massive station? I am pounding hyper coffee, and I'm I'm repairing the uh, sensors. Aiming for sensors, okay. Uh, that will be uh, control engineering difficulty three to re-engage the bypass. Uh, security teams, no, engineering teams. <laughs> wrong, engineering sorry, teams. Yes. I was like security teams. I mean, we could shoot and signal with our phasers, I guess, if you really want. But uh, I think the <laughs> I think the XO is gonna mind. <laughs> yeah. Who keeps yes. putting holes in my ship? <laughs> <laughs> they're not holes they're communication relays duh they're speed holes <laughs> they're speed <laughs> holes <laughs> it makes you more aerodynamic in space <laughs> exactly set on Klingon ships for their blood flutes <gasps> so control engineering difficulty 3 uh, engineering teams bring that down to 2 Get it. and good. take a threat uh, focus emergency repairs, yada yada yada. Uh, actually, let's do one more or threat, one more momentum. Let's get four dice and see if we can bank some extra momentum off this. Or not. That's that's bold we roll. That went well. Uh, with two hits. Oh, that is enough. Uh, you, you have engaged the sensor bypass. The sensors are working again. Mind you, you get the feel. If there's a, although you're on the last bit of sensors, if that last bit of sensors gets cut, there's nothing to bypass too. There won't be any sensor arrays left. Yep. Currently, the bypass involves using, uh, 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 getting a bit of assistance from one of the shuttle computers to help with the calculations. Like it is, it, your, your sensor stuff is pretty wrecked. But it works. It's not pretty, but it, it will work for now. Um, I guess next would be, uh, I don't know. Oh, Commander, do you want to do computers or weapons next? Computers back up. Okay. Well, Hi. Arlen moves on to his new destination. What is uh, Threlic, Koval, or Ven up to at this time while he's working on the sensors? Um, I would, uh, like to know what the heck is going on with this cadet. I told you. Yeah, but why, though? Um, insight plus medicine difficulty of three. Uh... I don't think I have a, I don't think I have a focus for this one. Uh, what, you don't have a focus for psionic bullshit? Uh, nope. Besides, it's not psionics, technically. Take one roll. Sure. I hate it. Ah. Uh, there we go. Hmm. Well, I was hoping to make us some momentum, but that's fine. Ah. Huh. 
Hum, hum. Oh, well. Uh, oh, okay. Um, so, to answer you, Doctor, it would seem uh, that the patience is perceiving uh, through... Um, Imagine a blind, a blind person who, uh, or rather, uh, uh, that's inaccurate. Imagine a species that doesn't have eyes being given eyes and now trying to understand color and three-dimensional things, like visual stimulus. Okay. This person now has a new sensing apparatus of some variety and they are not, and their biology isn't reacting, is, is disoriented. He's, he's okay. actually not in, dis he's in, He's disoriented, less distressed. Like he's not okay. in medical danger. He's just he can't make up or down correctly because he doesn't yeah. understand what he's looking at. So the brain so just he's... in default just went, okay, I'll just shut off, and because so I don't know what to yeah, do with that. Uh, Experienced like a spontaneous extrasensory awakening. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Which. He can be woken out of it. Like, you can wake him. You can trick his brain into keeping him awake and talk to him, but he's... Otherwise, as he is right now, he's just overwhelmed. I don't think... So... Get him up, yes. But, like, I feel like that's not ethical. <laughs> I feel like that's mean. <laughs> uh, Thrallic or Ven, as the doctor makes that particular revelation. Be, I guess, directing the engineering staff to uh, manage our power production, try to make sure that's like steady and everything. Obviously, it's uh, not being like stored, but it's being siphoned off. So, like, trying to make that easier, I guess. Sure. Give me. Um, you can direct Arlen to do that uh, task, or you could activate an engineer if you wanted to try to activate someone else as well. But uh, you could direct someone in engineering, hey, go do this. Or you could do it yourself in the engineering panel if you feel up for it. Uh, it would be control plus engineering difficulty of three to establish the advantage of making the power flow as easy for them as possible. I'll, I'll direct Arlen here. So, Arlen, on your way there. By the way, I know you're busy, but... <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Did you do this too? <laughs> actually, it's a much hyper. I have to. <laughs> how much hyper coffee can I actually have? Uh, I don't know. Liter a day is usually the medical recommended uh, maximum. I noticed you about said minimum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Take a threat. Sure. Um, <laughs> I'm bold. EPS systems as a focus. Yep. Uh, possibly could I finagle a limit pusher? I'm trying to interface our power system with an alien power system with minimum data, you, and I'm pushing totally the limits. Of, yeah. I will 100% take that. Uh, all right. Diff two. Um, Thrallix Assist. Where did the music stop? GM, why are you changing the music? <laughs> Thrallic. Hey, sorry, what? Assist. Oh, yes, Chris that. Command. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm totally yeah. here right now. Definitely not getting tired. <laughs> Don't worry, it's all coming to an end. Hey, I'm trying to get us home. Just like all good things. Uh, uh, I don't know if I like that. Strategy and tactics or team dynamics? Team dynamics. There you go. Uh, and then you generate a bonus yeah. momentum. Yeah, you're able to... Uh, you're actually able to maintain your current power levels. You have to push your 
you basically are running the engine hot as if you're at warp. But uh, yeah, you can keep your power levels just the same and still give power over to the station. And I have one bonus momentum from um, a talent. Rock, okay. Yes. Correct? Um, can I use that plus one more? Or to say our power generation is so good uh, that we can expedite uh, our time here. You certainly could do. Ooh, I've just got, come up with a different uh, advantage if you're interested. I'm interested. I wasn't totally sold on that. What, what's your idea? Considering we are connected to the vets, the station, could we, as we're transferring data, spend. You're transferring power now. Oh, no, no, data. Sorry same concept what I'm going for from from can we better understand how their power transfer works by doing this uh hell for one I can tell you that that's a that's a knowledge I, that's like, a question I, I can answer yeah it's like glean more insight from it I would I would take that and that's definitely more in line with how my character would think anyways okay I'm sending you a message as a new scene begins in the central computer area uh, if you wanted to share how to keep up our power while still feeding the station with the Klingons, we'd appreciate it. Um, for two momentum, can I share this as technique with the Klingons? You, uh, you can. However, I will be nice and point out to you that uh, until they repair their engines, they can't do it. Because <laughs> uh, okay. they're bleeding power the whole time, so they have a different problem entirely. I don't... Well, but you can pass on the info anyway. Like they could use it later. I'm just letting you know that for now it wouldn't go uh, into effect because they need to repair, they need their uh, engines repaired okay. or at least a bypass put into place. I I guess I could just uh, say, hey, I have this available. Oh, if you, you get your engines back up, I can. Yep. Be able to spend for the two, you can totally do that. In there. Yep. Yeah. When Hoka gets back, he'll use this massive twelve control engineering to work on that. <laughs> so the two away teams meet. Uh, the area normalizes for the both of you. Oh, the smells went away. Mm. You see a massive, almost like, it's almost like you're standing inside a gem, and there is a semi-translucent floor that you're walking along, so you can kind of see above you and below you. And you can see you're inside this massive, uh, disc-like space station. Um, and it's actually slowly turning. You, you like you're kind of you can feel motion. Uh, like everything's turning around this one pivot point. Um, various computer uh, computer stations morph out of, like glass, start to m uh, pull away from the ground and then shape into a computer panel that you're used to. For the Klingons, it it lays itself out in a Klingon uh, standard. For the Federation people, it lays itself in an Elkars format. Hmm. Welcome to Central Core. What was that? Out loud? Yep, you hear a voice radiating from the glass around you. It's in Klingon or it's in English? It is in your home species language. Mm -hmm. Fancy. Uh, thank you for allowing us on board. Do you have a designation you'd like to be referred to? I'm the central AI computer of the intergalactic colony ring 001. You may refer to me as 001 or 01. Uh, let's go with 01 to keep it nice and sweet. Acknowledged. How may I be of assistance today? Um, both of our vessels were shot out of our... The, the Milky Way galaxy beyond the barrier. And we're trying to find a way home. Is that something you could assist with? This colony ring is equipped with a die drive generator capable of transferring to any point in space and time. All that is required is calibration to the relevant dimensional uh, coordinates you require. At present, the power generation being drawn from your two starships is enough to power the zero point cell power system. Ergo, the die drive generator can be activated at this time. Oh, what else can it do? 
The die drive generator allows starships to cross dimensions. Um, is the dimensional crossing used uh, merely to uh, subjectively shorten uh, distance in space-time, or is travel within other dimensions possible, as in uh, shifting and then traveling along whatever space-time cur curvature is present in that given dimension? The die drive uses a hyperspace traversal method along the 11th plane. Similar to your subspace drive, instead it is hyperspace drive. So it goes While in the this opposite direction. discussion is no doubt fascinating, I believe the more germane approach would be a estimated time at which we could arrive. Is the drive currently operational? The drive is fully powered and available for an, for a new jump. Um, can I can I grab Hoka and pull him like closer? You can. And Ooh. I'm gonna whisper. Wow, we can go back before the battle. What? And I overhear that with my Vulcan ears. Uh, you uh, insight security difficulty of two. Anyway, and as you're rolling that... that, the computer answers your question aloud and says, Temporal shifting is possible through the hyperspace layer as it goes over space-time. However, space-time uh, space calibration is required to ensure proper destination travel. Yeah, we, we I shouldn't don't... do that. No, we should not. But we could, we could prevent the battle from happening. Like, we could win. Do you want the time cops to appear? Because this is how you get the time cops to appear. What are they going to yeah. do? Come blow the station up? Who are the time yeah. cops? Yes. Uh, uh, temp Starfleet Temporal oh, Fleet from the Oh, 20, they have no uh, jurisdiction in that's, that's, We don't care about that, but no, we're still yeah. not doing that. Trust me, temporal mechanics is a bad thing to mess around with. Plus, as oh, the... that role, you, didn't quite saying, hear it. you didn't hear think what they of said, what the but you heard Joe what the computer give said. Us. <laughs> Time travel. Think... Not even once, man. Think of what Just the honors no. that you give us, though, if we, if we went back and won the battle. Uh, zero one, I don't think that'll be necessary. Acknowledged. Oops. However, be advised that due to dimensional travel, some temporal calibration is required to ensure you are not set too far up or down from current temporal coordinates. Uh, it travels through hell. Would you? The ship travels through hell, one hundred percent. Would you be willing to trade data for? Uh, data that we can provide from within our galaxy. What data do you require? Um, perhaps, Captain, the best, the better question to ask is what data zero one requires in order to make all of the navigational and temporal adjustments necessary to get us back in I one piece. Uh, zero one at the right place. Translating calibration to your standardized operating system databases. Be advised that this is a very difficult process that requires at least 50 years of training for proper use. You will simply have to make do. <laughs> yeah, so that's not going to help us. Uh, and oh. it presents you what the role would be as it tells you that it, it takes a bit of reading. Uh, it's almost like setting a course for, or, or well, not a course. It's like setting up a beam. Like a, a transporter beam. Uh, this thing's drive, all those panels out there, spin w very quickly around this core, and then it generates a sort of almost like a dimensional wormhole or gate that it basically makes it the entire station fall through or slip through. Um, so if you get it right, you can appear whenever, wherever you want. Uh, the problem is that the calculations are complicated, um, and it's a science that your character, none of your characters, have only at best would have theoretically have heard of at the at like the at Kronos or at some academy, like uh, Vulcan Academy or something. Like this is 
out there stuff for your characters. But you are trained officers. You do know how to travel through space. So you have some idea what it's trying to tell you. So all that <laughs> said, control plus con. Eh, we got good con. Well, Difficulty like six to go to a known time and destination, uh, a known destination. I'm oh, sorry, I take that back. Uh, let me let me ex let me explain what known destination is. I'll tell you the different difficulties and then I'll uh, explain them. Because known destination isn't doesn't quite mean what it, yeah you might think it means. Diff eight for an unknown but safe destination. Does the station come with us? Yep. That's something we don't want, right? Why not? I don't know. How glorious is would the war against these guys be in our galaxy? Uh, we already have enough wars. Well, I mean, you know, <coughs> we, we, get the, we take these guys back with us and, and, you know, get them near Narendra, power them back up again, and then we, you know, we show those bloody uh, Aldemona a thing or two. As far as we know, the war is still going on. So... It is, it is difficult to assist for a known destination. Known destination is known to it. Because you don't have dimensional coordinates. You have astro-navigational coordinates. You you move through space differently than it does. It navigates through hyperspace. Mm -hmm. So it's use, it's like referencing stuff that you can't, you're guessing at. And you're trying to interpret what it's trying to look for. Um, so it's difficult. So it's difficulty eight if you're trying to tell it somewhere that you think is safe, and then you're trying to puzzle out what the computer's asking you. And it's trying to it's trying to help you. It's trying to meet you halfway, but it, it's yeah, we, you're so primitive, it's struggling to understand what you're telling it. So, so question if this thing can oh, go ahead. What's the difficulty to getting it to Narendra? Eight. Hey, well Okay, um, that's what I thought. Yeah. Based up it, based upon and we can feed it like our basic astronavigational data and you know, galactic location and stuff, does it have a preset location in its database uh, like in our galaxy? No. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask, too. Okay. Your, your galaxy is a new is a new contact. Okay. Huh? It's happy to... And, and, and the computer seems to be uh, taking great uh, um, scans of these new alien species it has aboard. Um, so... What? Now, the computer does warn you, though. Um, mm -hmm. This is important. That's why I want to point this out to you. Um, if you get this, if you program it, if, the, if, your calcul if your calibration is incorrect, there are problems that can happen. One of two things will likely will, will occur. Either the calibration is incorrect and you didn't shield the station properly or take it, like you basically made it warp, you tried to make it to eventually shift into a star. It automatically will try to shunt itself away to save itself. But that causes an overload, uh, an overload of the systems, and damages them, which may require you having to repair it, um, or it's only slightly miscalibrated, and you jump, you do jump. Oh, well, sorry. The first thing is a complete shutdown. You try to, if you try to jump into like a star or a black hole, um, it will abort the jump, and then it overloads, trying to save itself and everyone aboard. Um, if you miss, if you manage to miscalibrate it another way instead of jumping to where you want when or where you want to go it will go somewhere else or some win else and then you'd have to recalibrate all over again because now you don't know when or where you are and it's going to be even more confused because it doesn't know where it is either if you so, go off if you go off track so can it further define a safe destination safe destination is uh open space uh no gravity uh, minimal gravity wells that sort of thing so if you wanted to jump near say a star system you jump outside of it you wonder what you can, in theory, jump in the middle. That's still it's still considered that safe so long as it's not it has distance. It's at least uh, medium right. range away from a planet. As long as that's the case, gra gravity won't mess with its dimensional jump. But if you jump right. like over Earth or over Kronos, right. that screws it because it could be pulled into the planet by accident, and you don't want that. <laughs> it doesn't Captain, want that either. <laughs> I suggest we do not jump uh, back into the Shackleton. There's too much. Uh, matter floating around there there's no telling if it would be space or not ideally we would jump into 
someplace in the Federation or Klingon Empire that is mostly empty space. Again, I concur with the Klingon. We should mm. jump this into Federation space. This is like this unless could hyper really bad space. We want the bad things to happen to them, not to us. No, oh, we're allies. Well, so again, space space is big, really big. Right. Yeah, but oh. the, the giant nanobot station with the super power core that can like one shot ships should be in someone else's right. territory. But we can we can I find agree that it shouldn't be in Klingon territory. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> we could we can find like particularly empty sectors of space. You know, or we can aim for that. That will at least well, that'd be more. That that'd be a lot more rim rimward, like out by the uh, Silk Road, even, and it's still pretty dense. That. Well, but I mean, all I'm saying is between Federation and Klingon databases and star maps, we know some big spaces that have very few. Yeah, we know some big spaces planets. like that right by Narendra. We don't yeah. need to go all the yeah. way down to the Silk yeah. Road back down in the southern part portion of that bit of the galaxy. No, yeah, I can't. bad Arlen. I, I can't pull up the, the map in my mind right now, but yeah, if there's a space near Narendra, that would be pretty much ideal. <laughs> yeah, there's the, the, the space... There's empty space everywhere. Yeah. The the, I mean, the, the further to the, the rim frontier. The further to the rim you are, uh the more the more gap there is between the arms of the Milky right. Way galaxy. So it the closer to the core you get, the denser everything gets. Right. The the, the Silk Road was a weird anomaly in that it was hyper dense for its location in the galaxy. But if you were like at the uh to put it to to give you an idea, Narija Station is roughly mid arm. It's not like really close to the core, but it's still fairly close if right. you go just a little bit more rimward it starts spreading out quite a bit that, there's a reason why both federation and klingons they expand out that way but there's not a whole lot to run into because <laughs> the arms are a lot more spaced out there's a lot of just straight up empty space between the arms yeah. well at least we have a destination now and i can get uh lieutenant sister uh, shreya to help plot the course making the jump possible Is there anything anyone would like to ask Zero One? Or give my presumption Zero Zero One, but you designate yourself as a colony vessel, yes? That is correct. Do you then carry colonists to some destination? Linguistic barriers prevent me from appropriately addressing the question, but in simple terms, yes. At the Vulcan raised eyebrow, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can we can we not have you colonize our area? This the denizens of this colony ring. Do not disembark to conquer or otherwise annex space-time uh, worldlets or uh, starship assets. Instead, the colony ring explores and briefly subsists with galaxies for a period of time until such time that academic interest has waned or simple recreational curiosity of previously visited galaxies has occurred, at which point the the, the die uh, drive generator is recalibrated for a known destination or a preset destination, and it is jumped to that location. There is no intention of the denizens aboard this vessel to deprive you of your space-time... Uh, achievements or gains that as well tell me zero one now that the zero point batteries are fully charged how much would they, they be depleted by activating your nano repair systems for our ships 
Uh, it gives you calculations on your computers. Uh, essentially, for each breach, the nanobyte, the, the nanos will take at least one hour. But it is okay. a, it's it, it, in the, and at that pace, it won't it won't it won't disrupt the zero point battery because it's using the secondary generator to power the uh, the nanites. But it needed the zero point to turn on the colonies in the first place. I'd say hmm. we take the time to repair the ships. Uh, zero one. Will this harm? The organic life forms within the vessels. Uh, negative. Uh, pink goo is not the uh, attack. Doesn't seem to be required in our current diplomatic uh, interaction. Understood. Then we would like to avail you of this service if possible. Captain Penn of the USS Achilles, do you authorize the use of a nano colony aboard your vessel? I feel like there's a role there that is saying sh if I should or not. <laughs> uh, if you're feeling worried about this, I'll give you Insight Security Difficulty 2 or Insight Engineering Difficulty 2. Uh, I'll go security. So Crawl will allow it to happen on his ship. He's not in command. Neither are you. Uh, yes, I am. Strategy you, you, you tactics. Put him in command. <laughs> I, of this, of this uh, away team. No, yeah, I'm like the, the the only surviving command level officer. You're a doctor. Uh, strategy hey, tactics. If he, if, he, if he wants to draw his knife, he could totally take command. <sighs> well, I'm I mean, looking you at try. Okay. I'm stunning both <laughs> your asses. Uh, strategy I and think tactics. I could take him. How okay, lets the barrel of his uh, disruptor rifle drift slightly towards the doctor? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to roll three challenge dice. Ooh, you get one. Go team. Um, if they mean what they say they mean, then you'll be fine. But. Uh, nanotechnology is very poorly understood by the Federation. Uh, if they decide to gray goo your ship and destroy it, uh, if, once they get started, it'll be hard to stop them. So it depends on whether or not you trust them. If you trust them, you're 100% fine. These aren't uh, Borg nanites. These are nanites by these people uh, but, from this station. But, I mean, but again, no. our... Zero One, please activate your repair na nanites. Or Zero One, activate your repair non nanites and repair the damage to the Maymok. So yeah. Crawl authorizes this. We're about to allow, allow them to throw us through space. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> if they yes. wanted to kill you, there's right. a lot easier ways to do it. I, I'll, I'll, I'll get the go ahead and just comes and back. Hoka will uh, warn the uh, laborers and uh, get to left that uh, we're using an unorthodox repair method not to interfere. Can the nanites repair people too, zero one? We don't. We Bio loggers can be reconstructed and revivified. We have some dead warriors. I look at Hoka like it's a good idea. Not a good idea. Yeah. For each ten for, for each biologics of your size and rel average weight would require for every ten would uh, take one hour to revivify. Let's not do get ahead of ourselves. Can this be done simultaneously with ship repairs? Yes. Let's go for it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I authorize um, this. Sorry, right. I'm going to walk that back. I, I mis The GM misunderstood. The computer would know better. Um, uh, the nanites would ha uh, are in gray repair mode when repairing the ship. If they are repair, if they're revivifying biologics, they're in pink repair mode. Uh, they have to be focused on one or the other to prevent uh, catastrophic runaway failure. Uh, focus well, the on dead the aren't ship. going anywhere. We could do that in a minute. Yeah, yeah let's focus just on the yeah. Ship first. focus on the ship, please. <laughs> um, also, Captain? Bringing people back from the dead seems like a very unclingon thing to do. This is out of character. We're, we're waiting for our Emperor to come back from the dead. Right. Do you, do you, do you, uh, uh yes, but not with one, technology. do you mind if we scan your nanites while they are at work? Handheld scanners are permitted. Uh, starship scanners are not, as intergalactic standard encounters with starships usually imply that uh, starship scans result in pinpoint attacks upon this uh, colony ring. Understood. 
That's a good assumption. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, That's okay. why it's for it's for exaction. You're scanning me. That's how you scan for weakness. Carl is, think, <laughs> Carl is thinking. That's a good. That's a good policy that's, because that like. Is a good policy. Yes, Alan. I'm gonna call back we, in the we second. Thought, thought we had a chance. <laughs> Engineer is not happy. He's making unhappy engineer noises. I'm letting well. the Klingons Shift talk. Me. Jesus. Yeah, uh, Cap Captain Pitt. If you don't mind, I'm going to. Uh, we're going to head back to the ship now. Uh, Zero one, will you be able to communicate with us outside of these this command ring? This command ring has a neural scan methodology that that allows me to understand and translate the language block to a verbalization that you can understand. Off the outside of this chamber, uh, text only uh, communication is available until such time that the standard uh, quantum language barrier is broken. Time of uh, calculation unknown at this time, though it should take translating um, less than two cycles of a planet around the star of Kronos. Okay. Does that kind of feel like I need to head back to the ship if they're going to be grey gooing us? Yeah. Uh, Lieutenant Ravloff, could you report uh, comes back to the ship? and inform the senior staff what's happening and ask for the Lieutenant Shishre to report here. I was muted because I was coughing. <coughs> yes, sir. Wake. Yeah, I'm just going to wait for the Klingons to go away. Yes. So the Klingons return to their ship? Yes, and as we go, Hoka is, is tweaking his scanner to get the most uh, detailed scans possible with the handheld device. Uh, give me, because this, this could be relevant for this, so get the game if you don't all die. Um, engineering. Difficulty. Reason engineering. Dif oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I Reason I plus engineering that. difficulty three. Uh, Alan, do you want an assist? Because you'll be being asked to do the same thing with hand scanners. Sure, nanites. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nothing bad ever happens with yep. nanites. Scavenging on this one. Uh, it works one to one. I, I take it. Okay. All right. I'll give you a threat for bold and such, and the third die. Let's see how it goes. Ah, excellent. Yeah, you have a. I will tell you the preliminary part of it, uh, but there's more. There's your guy gets way more than this. Uh, these are there is a central uh, nano colony uh, block that just kind of float, that's carried along, and it's generating and repairing the nanites as it in a loop. So there's it's like a little hive of buzzing nanites that move around, and the colony continuously works. If it's in gray goo mode or gray repair mode, it's they literally look gray. It looks like a bunch of little gray flies swarming over beats of the ship and putting it back into place and building the ship back the way it was. Uh, if it's repairing people, it turns into this bright pink color and then it starts it starts putting it starts knitting together Klingons. Well, we do want it to do that, but only after it's repaired the ship. Then after we'll it's ask repaired the one, ship. if it will switch it to pink mode. Yeah. You you can do both. What I'm getting at it, it's it, that's a thing you can do. It will do the repairs first though, definitely. That means you may not have to uh, spend to. I don't know if retroactively you can unspend to get the Subgita left back up to their normal thing because, like we're bringing them back. Once they get back, back. Yeah. yeah, they have to get back first. Do you get like oh, yeah. your rep refunded? Does does it mind if I scan the the inside of the ring while? all this is going on with my hand scanner? Yeah, you can walk around with your hand scanner. It doesn't mind, that. No. Oh! It just doesn't want Starship scanning it, because that's how oh, it Oh, hell yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we can, uh, uh, so get into our databases I, and start scanning the, the shit out of... I will help thing. him, but only once it's in pink mode, and I don't care about whatever the gray thing is. Okay, so... Uh, uh, so right off is doing going back to... ship. Sorry, say again, I talked over you. Uh, has Rylov come back, calmed back to the ship? I got interestingly contradictory orders to using comms or not for that. No, I said okay. it comes back. 
and then you also said go back and bring and, no, and like, to tell <laughs> uh, oh fucking comms lieutenant Rylov to U.S.'s Achilles the Achilles is hurt right uh the inst uh, station zero one, as it is to be referred to, is going to be dispatching nanites for the repair of the Achilles. Just Don't ask me to brief. explain that in detail, because I do not fully understand it. I, I, I I'm sorry. What? We're down I an did engineering. Not start her, Lieutenant. <laughs> We're down an engineering. <laughs> <laughs> um. Understood. I'll make sure preparations are completed here. The captain also requests Lieutenant Trisha Schreer's presence for calculations regarding destination. The station is, so far as it has told us, capable of bringing us home. If we can calculate a proper destination through means that are out there. All right. Brock will look over at Shreer and say, Lieutenant, you have leave to depart. Yeah, activate the shush. Well, you already have one. <coughs> yeah. uh, Fuck. Is there anything uh, Ven, Koval, or Arlen are doing? During oh, yeah. Gonna, I'm going to talk to Arlen next. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Carry on. Yeah. And then I've been trying to jump <laughs> into an Archon officer. I'm going down to talk to Arlen in person. I mean, so, I don't. I don't know if there's anything that I need to specifically be working on. Uh, I think you uh, said there were injuries. Mm -hmm. I think you told me there were injuries or well the at the moment you're you're you've uh rendered medical assistance to everyone you can it's just everyone's now at just uh bed rest and recovery mode the only person who's odd is uh the cadet he's the one that oh, I was just wondering because we took breaches so oh yes uh that would reflect that um uh, oh, you do have new injuries. Yeah, you do have new injuries aboard. Uh, no rules required for them at this time. Uh, what that would have meant during the combat would be that you could have done a medical role to try to get people yeah. back out as soon as possible. But since you're not rushing people back to their stations, you're like, take your time. time. <laughs> get treated yeah. properly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, then, no, you no, had, I, got, you... I got nothing. Okay. But yeah, you, I, I can to tell you. monitor the cadet and not sleep. Um, he, I, I can tell you from monitoring him that he is, uh, even though uh, unconscious, he is still perceiving. Okay. His, br his brain's he... still acting. Like he's not, he, he's in, he's in REM sleep, but also his brain's active. It's active. Okay. But it's, it's not like he's seizing or anything like that. No, no, surprisingly not. Okay. Cause I was kind of worried about that. So. <laughs> Uh, you're unsure what the long-term effects of this will be because uh, this is a sensory apparatus you are unfamiliar with. So yep. <laughs> maybe this is good. Maybe this is really bad. I'm a little worried about his brain like overloading because if he's in REM but not fully able to rest, that can be bad. He's also a Genobulin. They don't usually go into Remit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, His brains went into, into save itself mode. It's like, uh, go, un go unconscious. Why? Because uh, you don't want to walk around while you're being disoriented like this. Shut off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I would have thought the uh, the Genobulin response would have been to just start hallucinating, actually. Yeah, actually, that's a normal for them. They like that. Yeah. Um, that's why he woke up. It's like, oh, hey, everybody. Want to talk to the star people? What? Good night. 
Okay, so I'm just going to uh, continue to monitor him then. All right, Threlic, you uh, encounter Arlen. Uh, he was on his way to another part of the ship to repair something. I believe it was weapons. Uh, computers. Computers, my mistake. Sorry. So you find him in the computer core. Trying, right. to get the, trying to find yet another bypass. <laughs> Which, by the way, you can do that roll now, just to get that out of the way. Um, control engineering difficulty three. As you're trying to find uh, at least one a biogel pack that hasn't turned to mush. Engineering teams. Down to down to diff one. Uh, emergency repairs to focus, and I'm just gonna roll this straight. Just two dice. On the button. We found a bypass around the computers. I mean, you're you have to break out the isolator chip backups, but uh, it'll work. But uh, that's it. You, if the isolators burn out, that's it. You're screwed. You can't get the computer going again. Just off my hands, plug it in. Commander, I think I got the computers back up. Although I wouldn't want to run holodecks for the next six hours. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. New information from the captain. The ring has offered its services in affecting repairs to the Achilles. I'm going to have to ask your repair crews to go into standby mode while that's happening, of course. They'll be using a nanite technology to affect repairs. A, 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 a what technology? I don't know the details, Lieutenant. All I know is that it's a nanite technology. And... And we've okay. I'm I'm assuming the captain signed off on this. He has. <laughs> Just I I eyebrow, tw you know, twitching right now. Bzzz, as a swarm of nanites come into the room and start going and start swarming over bits of the computer. I trust this won't present a problem, Lieutenant. Your that forms up a biogel pack, puts it into place. <laughs> Some of the crew just backs right off like, oh, we're not touching that. <laughs> I'm, All right. I think you go wherever Arlen, it wants to go. <laughs> Arlen to engineering teams, aim stand down and from repairs. Uh, apparently we're getting alien help on this. That sounds well, decidedly xenophobic for Starfleet. Well, mm -hmm. there's a reason he's a lieutenant. Yeah, isn't there, huh? <laughs> well, I would prefer, you know, someone familiar with Starfleet technology work on my Star Starfleet ship. I don't know, they seem pretty familiar. <clears throat> yep. Um, uh, there is a few a bit of the crew that looks visibly disturbed because they, they're getting like wolf 359 flashbacks like people some uh, people are yeah. just in some level actually doctor you have people coming into your med pay under med, uh, suffering medical distress oh can I, yeah oh and our, can I help our with counselor that, is gone good can i actually help with that by like making an announcement over the ship uh one can assist the other thrall can roll okay. or cobalt can roll main and then you can try to help the people who are Having a bad time, because, uh, yeah, that, that that's a big old trigger for a lot of people in Starfleet. Mm -hmm. For Klingons, it's mm -hmm. a, yeah, remember the Borg? That reminds me of the Borg. They were fun to fight. Badass. It's, like, mm -hmm. kind of dishonorable, though. Very. Starfleet people, oh, dear God. <laughs> Are we being assimilated? No. It looks like we're being assimilated. No. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> that's what that freaking I'm, looks like. I, I feel like it that's what be... you would say if you'd been assimilated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like uh, the announcement makes more sense and then to have like anybody that's still dealing with it than have me assist. Uh, let me get you a difficulty number to shoot doesn't out that, here. Doesn't that sound? <clears throat> I'm good with that. 
That sounds that seems like the should... correct. That seems like the correct order things should go in. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Uh. Presence. Uh, Arlen, you want to roll for what? Arlen. For if he's having flashbacks. <laughs> Arlen's allowed to use words. For now, uh, presence command difficulty four to help rally the crew around uh, not, the the crew that are suffering from not a terribly great time right now. <laughs> uh, Arlen, uh, are you trying to tell me that you want to uh, withstand a trauma roll here? Well, like that's separate no, no, from no, what no, you guys no. are doing. Sorry, trauma, trauma. <laughs> I thought you were gonna uh, resolve this first roll, all and then and get. To so I, I, I didn't know if it was related. Bit. I didn't know if their role was going to help you or not. That's why I was asking. Uh, no, it's not related to the uh, trauma. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thought I'd check. I'll, I'll get to that role after this one. Okay. I, I, I don't have anything specific in my back history involving, involving Borg. Okay. I was like, is that something I forgot about your backstory? That you were you were there or something? Because, yeah, the, there'd be a trauma role involved. Um, luckily, this is a relatively young crew. Yeah, honestly. That's a very young. Yeah. Um, compared to the kismet, especially compared to the kismet. Yeah. Well, everybody, there's, there's... everybody but Grinnon would have been making rolls. <laughs> like. Cool. Uh, question, Jim. Yeah. Would a focus in military history help here to to highlight the differences? Say this is not this thing. Um. Yeah, I think it would help. Right. It, it, it helps you. It helps cope when uh, you're actually told like that. That isn't actually the thing you're afraid of. That's that yeah, would like, look different. <laughs> like, oh, well, that's not a bee. Oh, that's just a fly. Oh, I mean, mm -hmm. the buzzing still scared me a little, but uh, I'm less scared now. <laughs> yeah, and just like kind of rallying people almost as well. Like, yep. look, this oh, is what we did at Wolf Three Five Nine. We we stood strong, and this is not our enemy. All right. Um. I was going to ask if I could do presence medicine with composure. You could, yeah. Really glad That's I don't weird. have the uh, paranoid trait. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. That's me. <laughs> Better believe I would, be, I would be picking on you. Uh, I was trying to check what our uh, directives are right now. Felt like there was one that would have helped here, but I can't think of it. Uh, no, there's somewhere in the Discord that they didn't get pinned. Yeah. Which is fair. They're not like the same as a. Oh, there we go. Found them. Oh. Um. Yeah, so uh, could this go towards the repair the Achilles type thing? So I'm trying to facilitate that by helping the crew. Yeah, I'd say so. All right. Then I'm going to spend my determination towards that. And then... Uh... I'm going to buy up to a third die with threat, but I'm going to roll my Karagat order to see how much threat you get. Eh, you get it still. That's 
Five successes. Three, but you spent toward your thing. Yep, yeah, you're able to get people to calm down. Like, there's a few people where all they needed was some well chosen words and just being just having the fact pointed out to them. You know, command knows what's going on, this is intentional, don't worry about it, everything's fine. And it's like, oh, well, command says so, I'll trust them. But there's you know, a handful of people who are like, hey, doctor, I'd like to talk to you, I'm having bad times, or I'm seeing stuff, or I'm hearing stuff. It's like, yeah, how about your, uh, how about your off duty today? <laughs> yeah. how, about, how about how about you to take the day off, all right? You, you, you can go anywhere where the nanites aren't. That's fine. <laughs> Sorry, uh, holodecks don't, are still don't, applying. Yeah, don't use holodecks. Yeah, don't use the holodecks. Oh, okay. You know, <laughs> as long as I don't have to see them. You know, everyone gets, you know, some people, you know, like some people just, you know, they're just inconsolable. Some people just like, I just want to, I, I just want to be in bed bay for a while. Yeah. I don't, it's, it's like, what do they do? It's like, the, and the staff kind of know that sometimes Borg survivors are like, or people who knew Borg survivors, like, you know what? They just need somewhere to sit and feel safe. Yeah. And med bay is a pretty safe place to do it. So it's like, okay, you can sit over there. It's fine. Do you need anything? No, no, no I'm fine. Okay. No, well, no I'll chill in my office. You. Like, <laughs> yeah. clearly I'm not in there. So while the good ship, oh my god, is going on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I almost, uh, sorry. One more uh, thing. Island, you wanted to do something. Um, I, I'm, okay, now now that I'm I'm looking over my values, values and stuff, I probably wouldn't be that much of a panic, just a little bit of a shock of, oh god, nanites. Yeah. But uh, I'm thinking I, I want to order my repair crews to to follow the nanites and one make sure that they're doing things up to uh, USS Achilles standards mm -hmm. you know just just follow up on the work and make sure those are doing it right and also see if we can glean information on how they operate and and maybe get some hand scans on them to see if we could replicate this technology reason engineering difficulty three Um, and Frolic would have told you that he could scan them, but she doesn't know that. That was after. Oh, uh, you think I would have waited for permission to scan them? Fair enough. Uh, plus, he didn't ban scan it. Them, so. And it isn't an issue. Yep. Just don't use the um, internal sensors. <laughs> can I use tinkering as a focus? Kind of added a complication increase. I see what you're saying, but it's unreal. It's not what I'm looking for. Uh, straight up technical insights. I'd take that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I am debating if I want to, and I use the determination now, just just to have it under under my belt. Or, or do we want me to save it to try to help with a, a jump roll somehow? Use your termination as you see fit. Um. All right. I'm going to spend my determination on the value with luck and practice. There are no limits. We're we're looking at at bleeding edge technology and and with luck and practice, we can have that technology. That technology is not beyond our limits. Because there are no limits. Sure. Um. And two threat. Uh, uh, and to given, answer your question. Oh, go ahead. Uh, uh given the uh, value I'm invoking, can I put limit pusher as a, a trait? No. All right. Well, you, uh, sorry, you could, uh, but it would increase your comp range to five because the limit push would be to use the internal sensors to get more detailed scans. And if you do it mm. carefully and quietly enough, they might not notice. But if you screw it up, uh, they might notice, and the station has explicitly told you not to use SIP sensors. 
So you could use limit pressure. I don't know if you want to is the thing. I, I haven't explicitly been told not to use internal sensors. You have explicitly been told not to use internal sensors. Uh, okay, fine. I won't. Uh, you, we've been explicitly told not yeah. to use sensors on these things, for like ship sensors. Handheld sensors, they don't mind. And and limit All pressure right. wouldn't really only go so far with tricorders. Tricorders can only be pushed so much. It's like, how do I get a better scan? Get a bigger sensor. <laughs> <laughs> What's a bigger sensor? Ship sensor. Oh, well, shoot. <laughs> Uh, all right. I will. Right, we'll, we'll just play this. We'll play this by the book. The the bleeding edge of the book by the book. We're still on the same shelf as the book. Yeah, once. Yep. You gain two momentum. Oh uh, yeah, you're able to learn quite a bit. You learned the similar things that the uh, Klingon two crew. Hits. Uh, you learned because... similar things that the Klingons did about how these nanites work. How the how they have the central hive core. How they have their they they can change the core. Can change what kind of. Uh, nanite swarm they are um, but they do move fairly slow they tend not to go fairly quickly and it, it occurs to you they could go faster they're purposely going slower to not run into organics like they're trying they're accounting for the fact that you guys are moving around doing things and they don't want to accidentally like ram into somebody if they're in like a in a crawl space they'll zip right through them because they know they're not gonna hit anybody but if they're like in a hallway or something or a person might be you know like they're purposely slowing themselves down for your benefit. Can I spend two and a momentum to get a better insight on the replication control mechanism? How do they make sure they don't have a runaway replication event? Uh, that is that is an ex, and actually this answers the Klingon question of being asked in Discord. Uh, that information you can easily get given your scans and given your interaction with the station, but to get something tangible and workable would require a a long-term extended task uh, um, to, if, to make to, to turn to make it into anything if, if i have the raw data i'll just uh, save it on a hard drive and look at it later yeah exactly you can totally get the data though like you can either ask for it or scan for it and they're like yeah sure we'll tell you <sighs> but it's like what am i looking at how do i do that like well that's up to you to figure out we know how to do it oh yeah totally yep i'll yep i'll take raw data yep so we look back to the hub core as Shreer steps into the central chamber. Uh, Calling final scene, just so you're aware. Uh, yeah, I'll spend oh, it's the end of one new scene then. Uh, well, uh, yeah. Well, I know I, I was trying to converse with the station to try and trade data or like do the usual with the federation have data is there anything you would be willing to trade with us look at it we uh, want to know what, about you yeah uh, what do you want to know like in general like i can summarize but it's they'll a... gladly take any data you offer them but you get the feeling that they've already scanned your computers so anything you know they already know i mean i'll, I'll offer it anyway this is just a token of goodwill yeah yeah but anything they're willing to share, we are explorers. We would like to learn. Um, so this is um, a hyperspace platform through which it's much like you guys don't exist on subspace. They don't exist in um, space time. They exist in hyperspace, but they travel through hyperspace. But the only way to navigate the only way to navigate through hyperspace is to kind of put it. You need a sensor that sees into space time. Otherwise, you won't come into real space properly. You'll end up in the wrong part, or you'll be at all points at the same time, which is not very helpful if you're trying to look at, say, you want to look at Earth. Well, you need to be able to be on the space time layer and see it before you can interact with it. If you're all the way up, same with you. You can't interact with stuff in subspace unless you purposely stay there. And that's what warp drive is for you. So for them, it's, they already travel in that upper layer of existence, but they need to see in the lower lo layers, much like you have to see in the lower layers below you. You can't travel through space without traveling through time. Likewise, they can't travel through hyperspace without traveling through space time. 
uh, this colony ship, this colony ring is, it moves from galaxy to galaxy and it just explores those galaxies for a while. The same way you'd explore a planet, they'd explore the galaxy. And eventually they either find something interesting and do stuff there for a while, or they don't feel welcome or they feel threatened. They'll go, okay, well, we'll just leave and we'll die. We'll eventually jump to some other place in time. And this place just randomly does that. It just randomly goes places. There are home systems or home dimensions that they call, they would call home. They're presets. Um, they go there sometimes just because they miss home or they want to talk to somebody or they want to consult an expert or they need repairs that they can't do on their own, which is rare, but sometimes it happens. Um, that sort of thing. So, or their their dimensional computer navcoms corrupted. Like if they jump to a place and they they blind jump and they don't know where they went, their default is to jump back to a preset destination and then recalibrate their computer and then try again. Um, zero zero. There are one hundred of these rings in the universe. This is zero zero one. There's you know zero zero two, zero zero three, etc. Um. The two things I would specifically try and focus on would be one, would they be willing to share any explore, exploratory technology? Nothing weapons wise or anything like that. And two, would they be willing to share any data from other galaxies? Um, They would be willing to. Um... They just under they just caution you that their sensor technology is very advanced compared to yours, and it's hard. They can translate it into your LCARS format, so you can your file systems can understand it. But you don't have the scientific understanding that they have, so it's going to take you longer to figure out what you're getting. But they, they don't mind giving you the data. That doesn't hurt. Oh yeah, but it's more like we, it's something we can hand to staff, like yep. the Federation. They to don't look at yeah. They don't mind you know, well. something to puzzle over for the next three hundred years type deal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things where they, if you ask for it, they don't mind giving it to you. They just don't force it on you. It's one of those. They, they if you don't want it, they're not going to give it to you. Same with the nanites. The only reason they grabbed the, the Klingon ship or they were grabbing stuff was they were in emergency power generation mode. They needed yeah. power for the zero point generator because they didn't mean to jump here. They meant to jump into the galaxy, not outside of it. So they were. Ah, running did on the galactic solo. barrier interfere with that by any chance? Uh, what's the galactic barrier would be its question. He doesn't know what that is. They uh, would we'll point out in our data what the galactic barrier is for us. Oh. That is very likely what I uh, prevented. Uh, if you wish to go return to your home galaxy, you will want to calibrate for its existence. We did not know it was there. Yeah. <laughs> no. That's... That, that, that's what happened. That, that's how miscalibration happens. They jumped to a galaxy and didn't know it had some weird thing about it, some anomaly about it. So it went, nope, and zipped them the wrong direction. Well, I'm sure they'll enjoy studying that anomaly then. Yep. Uh, I think, yeah, I think the last thing would be not warning them, but informing them that if the station comes with us, any vessels or sensors in the area will inadvertently scan them to just allow us time to reach out and stop them scanning without firing. Uh, you're free to warn them uh, to the best of your ability. Um, but if they do get within scanning range, uh, we have to... This, the AI must defend the colony ring. So it has to, and it's trying to do it with as minimal force as possible, so it just attacks the sensors, because that's what it's really worried about. If they fire anyway, then they'll return fire. But they try to just hit sensors. Besides, most starships can withstand that hit anyway. Your engagement range would be close, so you would not have to worry about vessels that are far away picking up uh, sensor contact. Passive sensor contact is fine. It's active deep scans that are considered hostile. Because that usually leads to targeted attacks against the colony. Understood. Can we will make sure to relay that message. Oh, can, Captain. Yeah. can you actively hide your existence? We do. Uh, passive sensors generally don't detect, a, detect this uh, ring. It requires 
um, active sweeps. That's how you saw us the first time. Ah. The pollinating, uh, the uh, megatanium uh, hull uh, absorbs uh, most LIDAR and uh, subspace sensor uh, signals. It requires a very specific type of sensor array uh, algorithm and system to detect this type of metal with ease. Similar, it's a, this is a more advanced form of what the Klingons currently have on their ship, actually. They're actually very close to creating megatanium armor. Not quite there yet, though. They were, they're missing certain ingredients. So, Which may not be available in your galaxy. So don't, I don't, I, we don't mean to... Uh, there's no intention to get your hopes up in that regard. Ah, we, we understand that each galaxy is different. But yes, I said any and all data you'd be willing to share would be happy to receive. That's it. That's, all we want to do is uh, try to explore. Uh, for to preserve the memory uh, flow and space of your uh, computer cores, especially since they're going undergoing repairs, uh, we will, with your permission, we will uh, have the nanites uh, fabricate uh, storage mediums that you can use separate from your computer, so you can enter them in at your leisure. Translation, if they actually uploaded all the data they have, your computer core would fill. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, like, yeah. hey, you know what? Let's give you detachable hard drives. You can just look it up on there. On your uh, own time. Sure, I'd, I'd, I'd come back to the ship and let them know we're getting extra hard drives for a crap ton of data. Yeah, can we get in on that deal as well? Yep. If you, if, hey, if, you, if you, say, especially since your character, would, well, they're, they've been asking about that in uh, Discord, in the in DMs. It's like, yeah, no, they, they they would be doing that if you're asking them for more yeah. data. It's as if we're oh, allies. Sure. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I but, guess. Uh, it's it's also yes. like, but if we coordinate, we'll be able to maybe hold even more data between the two ships. Yeah. There. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, the AI does alert you that. Um, there are certain data that it is not presenting to you, not out of any attempt to um, harm you or uh, imperil you, but because the data involved requires fundamental understanding of the data you already have before that data would be of any use or wouldn't be dangerous to you. For example, yeah. uh, die drives, they won't teach you because it that is very, that is difficult for them to do. That is the <laughs> state of the art for them, and it is dangerous even for them. And that's a risk they're willing to take, but they're not willing to endanger yeah. species that are still struggling with antimatter. Yeah, so it's one of those we have to figure out how to build the tools to build the tools to build the tools. Yep. And then get self replicating aware tools, at which point you don't have to worry right. so much anymore. <laughs> but yeah, if, um, if that's the case. Uh... There's nothing really more I can do. I was just trying to try and find a way to spend the determination on something, but yeah. um, can I spend it on creating an advantage? You could, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Uh, Larry, what? there's a thing called a nipple. <laughs> I've I've learned this fact many times, and it's always... uh, I'm just looking if you've got anything from the mission directives that would count uh, I don't think so but yeah to create an advantage of maybe there's some data in there that is particularly maybe offbeat but helpful in a unique way uh, depends which value you're invoking that's probably the data that would stand out to you the most maybe repair the Achilles Okay. You have you can spend toward that uh, and have the advantage that you have a particular insight as to how to make your ship, uh, how to repair your ship more efficiently the way they repair it. Maybe not with nanites, but in a, in an efficient manner like they're doing, and okay. how to fabricate parts uh, the way they do because they they have a matter a, a matter replication technology as well. But you could there's some of it you can mimic. Not maybe not one to one, but hey, even 0. 0.5 to one is better than what you're currently doing. Yeah, well, that's 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 worth it. Yep, you can totally do that. 
Um, that reflects itself as uh, you can give your ship the talent of um, Shiri style uh, Shiri repair methodology, Ooh. which means you can repair nice. breaches while not in dock. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> nice. Whoever's getting the spotlight next needs to add that to the goddamn ship. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there anything else you ask of the uh, AI of zero zero one? Uh, is there anything you would like to ask of us? Um, the the any knowledge that could be gleaned from your ships uh, has been. Uh, due to the passive scans of your uh, computer systems. Um, your neural nets could be scanned into the central database system. Um, if you're willing to do that to communicate your personal experiences and lifespan uh, and temporal imprint, then you are welcome to do that. But it is understood that most biologics find that process especially revealing and especially invasive so they didn't want to offer that without you asking and even then they know that some species do not react well to going through the process they don't die or anything like that they don't get they don't get into medical distress it's more <sighs> that it's it's a strange process your existence is copied into the computer for a lack of a better way to explain it than that i think senva would be fascinated by that and would actually volunteer I mean I'd kind of be down for it as well no <laughs> yeah no Romulan an invasion of the mind <laughs> no. already paranoid no yeah. <laughs> uh, are there any I... bands do you communicate this offer to your crews uh, I would, considering we got hours. Do the Klingons communicate it to their crew? Because it, well, the, right. 001 won't forcibly tell people. It's talking to the leadership because it understands you're a hierarchical society and it's trying not to do things you don't want it to do. I, I don't think so. I'm not sure that the what Klingon is warrior class would, would react well to... Yeah, it doesn't sound like... Yeah, I mean, we, we, we would probably equate that with a mind sifter and, you know... Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> I think it would even take a very peculiar person explicitly to call Penn to peculiar. Um, right. To to, <laughs> to uh to want that, probably even on the on the Achilles. But, uh, but two the Vulcan I, makes sense. I will say two fifths of the Achilles crew want to be uh um uh, have their experiences uploaded everyone else wow. is just like are like you know no that sounds so, there are some people who are like that's neat i'd like to see it happen if someone's doing it or i'd like to understand the process do you want to do it oh no no way i'm not doing that mm -hmm. others are like nope that sounds way too bored like i am so not there i don't want to be anywhere near that keep them away from me yeah like I said, I, yeah I, if I, they uh ask for uh like medical opinion no <laughs> yeah, so I I would approve that only on this on the circumstance of the zero one guarantees no harm will come to the crew. Uh, no physiological harm will occur. Uh, psychological harm depends on cultural expectations of the species as well as um, their expectations going into it. Um, but there's no intentional malice will be or harm will be created. But physiologically, nothing should, uh, nothing will happen because your biologies are now scanned into the computer core. They understand how your biology works. But uh, mental state is unpredictable for a newly encountered species that still operates in space time and doesn't is vaguely aware of hyperspace. If that's the case, then yeah, could I create an advantage with momentum for the ones who want to do it? That they are fully aware of the risks mentally. Oh, th those roles, those are just people who are eager. The people who are the two, you'd have to force them to do it, and they're the people you probably wouldn't want to do it because they, they'd have, they'd get freaked out. No, I mean, like, they know it. The, the ones I got deltas, the, the two fifths are like, huh? Oh, yeah, I understand. Okay. What? It's an alien tech that's scanning my brain. That sounds cool. Is it risky? Probably. 
Okay, so welcome to Starfleet. <laughs> as as, as, as yeah. long as they understand that there is a inherent risk and they're willing to accept that, then I would allow it. I I had a navigation idea for the the this dimensional travel thing, maybe, but I might have to spin for an advantage. Um, the advantage being that Hokai's heard Oda talk about the ocean of consciousness and having experienced it. Or the advantage being that, that Hoka was one of the people that got transported to and from the uh, Stovacor through the ocean of consciousness, so he knows that Oda knows about that kind of thing. Yeah, you. I, I won't even charge you for that. That seems he's part of the main. He's the he's part of the Maymont crew. That's something he probably would have learned. Right. So, question for zero zero one. Uh, having scanned all of our databases, he would know about the metaphysical geometries. Right. Or is, is the the travel through uh, parts of what we would call that ocean of consciousness? All higher level. Uh, motion tra ultimately travels through lower level. So, to it, technically yes, but what what you're trying to ask it is what it the way it travels is through hyperspace. It goes through the upper layers, okay. and it uses a sensor in the space time layer to verify okay. that it's near something worth talking to. But right. the problem is that when it goes into full di dimensional jump mode, it goes fully into hyperspace. So it's blind for the jump for a good while until it comes back out again. Okay, well, because what I'm wondering is if it could use someone who is attuned to those lower levels, particularly the ocean of consciousness, to help uh, fix its uh, temporal coordinates uh, or even space-time coordinates. Um, if if a subspace beacon of that variety or a mental beacon could be established, then that could be used as a nav point. That could make things easier for your calibrations. Yes, you could use that. It's not it's not very efficient to do it that way. It's better to have a hyperspace beacon, but you can't make those, so. Okay. I, we'll, well, we'll, you know, whatever works. <laughs> right, I mean, I don't think I can, you know, obviously I can't communicate with Oda to establish that. My hope was that, you know, they might be able to link through that, but that might not work. It was just a, an idea to kind of give us a, a, an advantage for the nav um this 001 can't do that 001 would have to return to one of the presets and consult with an appropriate uh subspace expert mm, um zero zero one's programmed to deal with hyperspace and real and real space issues not subspace issues yeah well yeah hoka doesn't know anything about subspace beyond i mean the 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 more spiritual realms of subspace so you know it was just a suggestion he thought might be worth putting out there hey june yeah um based on the stuff that's being relayed to the rest of the crew would i get a feeling that the stuff going on with zeft might be might have a tie to this uh for a momentum i'll answer that just want to make sure that we're not like missing out on a chance to help him uh yes he's he, he's he, you're able to connect that if they're talking they're talking about hyperspace and that's how he's perceiving it's mm -hmm. like and they're the only thing that you're aware of that plays it well unless q him itself is screwing around with him just for giggles or for some reason or the Bajoran I mean... prophets are doing something to him this is the nearest hyperspace interacting um uh, ship or uh vessel entity yeah so it's pr it, um, it might have done so it might have inadvertently uh caused that to him okay i'd probably hmm. can't help if we don't know i know but it's an ethics thing um <laughs> Well, as a CMO, you are allowed to utilize the resources of your ship to affect assistance for your uh, yeah, patient. Yeah, and he is the XO, so I <coughs> see it. So, um, yeah, I'd probably mess like send a message to Penn. I wouldn't do it over comms. I'm guessing that message is what Zeph is currently experiencing the 
hyperspace sentences? Um, yeah, something along the lines of like a spontaneous extrasensory awakening along uh, using hyperspace frequencies. Uh, zero one. Yes, Captain Pend. Uh, appears a, a member of my crew, upon being in this area, has awakened to like hypers hyperspace senses. Something that you're claiming to obviously work within. Um, this this colony ring can attempt to uh, interface uh, with their consciousness and attempt to discern the cause. Uh, however, this is not uh, this is an exploratory colony ring, less a medical uh, relief ring um so more detailed if the interface isn't enough to correct the issue then it would require uh more specialized assistance according to your databases it is possible uh, you're you do have some uh species that are aware and interact with the hyperspace layer so that is something you could seek out your own galaxy's help uh if the interface doesn't work either Telling him to go to Q. Uh, I don't think he was native to our galaxy necessarily, but it's the only thing I think us, them, and the prophets I think are the only thing we know of in that layer. But yeah, prophets are more easily accessible than Q, actually. I'll uh, relay that to uh, the doctor. And... You mean you don't just go? <laughs> you don't just shout Q is dumb and he just shows up? <laughs> <laughs> He hears you. Whether or not he decides to screw with you is another thing. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna relay that data to the doctor, and she, they can decide whether it's something they wish to go ahead with. Um. Can we ask if um? With what they know of our of our uh, species within our galaxy, do we, do they think it's there's a potential for greater harm if they do the interface? Like, could could that make it worse? Do they do they think? Uh, there is a biological harm threshold that's put into place into the into the uh, computer system, so. Per our programming and our experience, the once once approaching that threshold, the interface would be cut before it dipped over into harm. And um, cutting that, it, that, like severing it, suddenly wouldn't also cause harm. No, uh, that's why it would be okay. stopped short of that line. Because if you go past that line and you se and you sever, uh, you can cause uh, psychological shock. Okay. And yeah, that that's what harm. I was worried about. Yeah. Okay. But no, they cut. They cut it way before. We, we cut it way before then. Um, the people who are uploading, for example, their threshold is magnitudes lower than even that. This is a very deep dive that we wouldn't do unless there was a medical necessity, or they wish to join in uplift into the ship's hyperconsciousness. But if this is us pulling just shy of full interface, full dive. It's just, just enough to look in and see if there's anything that can be done through the colony ring. There's still a diff eight roll we have to make in there. <laughs> we'll get in there. I think it's probably coming up next after the doctor decides whether it's a go ahead or not. Yeah, I mean, I 
do they think that if um, once we separate, if like if it's a proximity thing or it's something that is going to continue to affect him? Um, from the from the space time level scans, it would appear that the biologic in question is has developed a hyperspace sensitivity uh, okay. and sensory, which that that can be in theory, depending on the biologic, um, be uh, disabled. Um, but it depends on how ingrained it is into their uh, consciousness, their hyper consciousness. Because if it's if it's ingrained as part of their eternal self, then it never, then it requires more advanced knowledge to separate it mm -hmm. uh, without uh, harmlessly. If it's very surface and superficial, then it can be just removed, much like you would uh, take off glasses or uh, set down a, a, a tricorder. But if it's part of you, then it requires a specialist. Okay. Interfaces uh, and interface could do it if it went full, but at that point, uh, they become part of the colony. Yeah. No, I was just wondering, like, is this something that's gonna resolve itself when they leave, or is this something that we need to take care of? Um, yeah, that that part at uh, zero zero one doesn't know. It, it, it doesn't would know. need to interface okay. to to know for sure. To know for sure. Um, like the other thing is, like, I don't want to, I don't want to put him through a procedure without asking him. Since currently he's stable and not suffering, but my concern is that if he does start to suffer, and now we don't have anybody around. If we get him to his mother, then it's her problem. That's true. She's good at this shit. Uh -huh. She doesn't have a focus on it, but she's good at it. I mean, I don't see the harm in them having a look, and if they can't do it, they're not going to do any damage. That's true. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. I probably approve that as a medically necessary diagnostic tool. So you go aboard and find somewhere to interface him. While that's going on, how is uh, team navigation doing? Uh, I think Sister Shrey has got a pretty heavy roll coming up. How many assists are you gonna allow on this GM? Um, I'll allow. Uh, you can all assist actually if you want. Because I was just thinking what the limitations of this computer is, and I'm like, wait a minute, it doesn't. <laughs> it can just make more computers. <laughs> so then, could both ships assist as well? Uh, the ships wouldn't be able to assist with this. Oh, no, they could assist. Yeah, because they, they give their astronomical data, which is something it needs. Right. <laughs> it, it needs to know what stars are there and what it's running into and what a galactic barrier is. That's pretty important. Yeah. yeah. Okay, groovy. As long as you don't mind it interfacing with computers. Like it hasn't done that already. It's, well, it's, it's numerous times that it's already got all of the information it can from our computers. Yeah. But if it's actively doing processing to aid with it and interfacing with the central core, that's different. It's yeah. one thing to see that you wear pants. It's a whole other thing to reach in, you know? It's a weird analogy, but you get what I'm going for. I was going to say, <laughs> that was real weird. Uh, that, was, that escalated quickly. Hello, that was you, a but really yeah. weird example, GM. Really. Okay, let's get the roll done. So was it control or reason con? Control. Right, and who would like to assist? Hoka's not bad at con. He'll he'll help. Okay, if you're assisting, yeah, Ro... you're in the central chamber, just so you know. Okay, Ro I will help. make my way okay. back, yeah. He's got a con of three. Okay. What's the ship assist roll? 
Computers uh, Con. Computers Con, yep. Okay, so... Uh, feel, oh, by the way, everyone feel free to wipe all your breaches off. Oh, cool. Are the breaches actually wiped off, or is this... Is the uh, nanites messing with us? Uh, I could not possibly answer that question. Actually, Why would you actually, ask yes, that I... question? <laughs> actually, yes, because I had, had engineering crews follow the nanites. Uh, yeah, to, because you are following them, they did actually do what they did fix it to Starfleet standard. Yeah, and actually, you get the feeling they could have done more, but they did it, they repaired it to what you consider appropriate for your vessel. So it okay. followed your guidelines. It's like, oh, well, that's what's expected, then that's what we're building. If someone make a comment like, oh man, wasn't it more like this? And then it's a correct it and they go, oh, that's an error. <laughs> Fixed. Okay. Determination to spend. Uh, so, okay, just a quick check. Who is all in that central room? I know Pend is. I know Shishir is. I know Hope Hi. is. Ryloff is. I'm debating whether I should be. No, it's not an extended task. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll just be helping from the bridge of the Achilles. Okay. Just coordinating the Achilles, interlink and everything. I'm not, that's what I'm saying. Anyone who is assisting is in this room, because it's because yeah. you're you have to be actively telling the dimensional computer what it's looking at. Exactly. Exactly. So I'm I am not assisting. I'm just uh, narratively facilitating. All right, whenever you're ready. Okay. Uh, value spend of I trust my captain's orders. I'm literally out ordering her to plot us a course home for a device we've never used before. Uh, what is the destination and time? Uh, time would be... Synced with our ship's yeah. clocks. Yeah. And destination would be a open space near Narendra, but not next to Narendra. Okay, so you want to aim for like start date six zero one three two, for example. Yeah, just a little bit ahead of where you currently are, but not much. Like you're talking a few hours. Yeah, where well, it kind of makes sense. Uh, I'll give you two threat, and I'm gonna spend three momentum. Okay, complication range is jumping up. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Five, I said. There. Comp five. Is that for everyone? Yep. And the ships? Yep. Dimensional travel's hard. Okay, so here's Shishra first. Let's get her out of the way. So she's currently at two, four... Five, six, seven. Nice. Uh. Um. Shall we go down by score? <laughs> uh, we can, because as soon as we get get A, we're done. Right. Well, I think we still have to fire off everybody for comp reasons. You know. Yeah. Whoever Everyone was assisting is yeah. assisting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Anyone who's assisting uh, triggers. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, what's the ship assisting with? There it is. Computer's con? con. Yeah. All right. I'll roll that. Would I assist with presence command because I can direct? You her? could. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah. Part of it is also coordinating it and trying to keep everyone, making sure no one's jumping the gun or giving information it doesn't need. So we're at eight with two comps. It was comp five, right? Yep. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeet. We're at nine with two nine. comps. <coughs> oh, fuck. What the hell? There are nine and two complications? Nine, two complications right now. Because it was the, defeat, uh, right? Correct. Did, did the, anybody uh, else roll? 
Yeah, the, that was my role there. Ah, uh, so it was. Yeah. Uh, is there anybody else who's in there who has not rolled? Who's assisting? I think that was it. All right. So then I think those stand, unless anyone has a way to wash those. I mean, unless I can squash ones when I'm not the lead roller with medals. No, because they require you to be the task roller. Yeah. I don't think there's anything you can really do from a support perspective. Um, hold on, actually. Uh, no. Can't throw it. Not. Oh. Uh, can't throw oh. one? Hang on. Throw not there. No. Uh, one uh, hang on, hang on. One thing to do, uh, kind of a odd walk around. You could go spend a determ. If anyone has a point of determination, actually, it would have to be. Oh, Pen, you don't have determination, do you? Uh, no, but Thrallit, the who was the lead roller, also has a second determination because of. Okay, so what you could do is you could spend your determination and pick up technical expertise, which lets you re-roll the ship. Okay. Thrallic wasn't the main roller anyway. It was uh, she was sure, isn't it? I know, so I mean, she's, she's a straight. Could she yeah. do it? But didn't she spend something for toward her uh, value? She does, but my NPCs get two activations due to oh. advanced team dynamics. And that gives them extra determination points? It does. Two. Oh. oh. Yeah. There's a, there's a whole second line of, like, ability to that. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'll spend that to create uh, the t temporary talent of technical expertise. Okay. Yep. Then the ship, our ship, can reroll. Right, that so, clears one comp. Yeah. So we gain but one momentum. Doesn't get and generate. Yeah. All right. So we can't clear the other complication, but we did clear one of them. Okay. And it's on the Klingon ship. The complication. <laughs> No, no, it's actually not the Klingon ship. It's the Klingon. The Klingon person. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like Klingon. a him problem. Klingon ship didn't uh, help, but it didn't hurt. Well, yeah. if it rolled at all, you get four bonus momentum. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, because that's how the Klingon Using ship's work. Game? It's a quality four Klingon ship. It's not, a, it's not an asset. It's just quality four. Like it doesn't belong to anybody. So could we use two of that to quash the one remaining comp? You could. Okay. There we go. We'll do that. Oh, all right. Good thinking, Winchester. I was a little bit too tired to remember that. <laughs> well, I never remember when it's important. Yes, we've been this going for important. for nearly five hours. <laughs> Ooh, you tied you practice that twenty eight threats spent, and that is the end no. of the episode.